also get a manual, which will help to familiarise you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus, you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Hello and welcome back, I'm Laura Lou, and this of course is an amazing evening. Why? Because it's tempting treats which means we're talking all things sweet. All things amazing, cakes and chocolate and everything I talk about on a daily basis. No diet here today, no, no. And also I am joined by the gorgeous one and only Jam. Good evening. Shall we have no diets here today? Let's do chocolates, let's do sweets, let's do cakes, let's Sounds do like a plan. everything we shouldn't be doing but it tastes amazing. So not kidney bean cookies then? No, they are amazing. There you go. Thank you for the recipe for those. <laughs> they are amazing. They can go in the sweet naughty treat thing. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No question about it. They were incredible. <laughs> they, yesterday, she made the most amazing... Uh, all I can say is basically like a, a cross between a chocolate cookie and a cake. A cakey. That'll do. But it was made with kidney beans. So technically healthy. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Oh, it's high good. protein. It's all good. It is. And you may be wondering why we have a sweet bowl on the side because we are, in fact, having a competition. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we are. And what may this competition be? Um, ben in my ears going, I didn't know there was a competition. There is, Ben. There is a competition. So we are going to ask you to guess how many sweets there are in this jar. That's about all you're going to see. We're just going to have it sort of sneaky peeky in the corner there, so you can't really see it. You've just got to guess how many sweets are on that jar. Message into the JM studio at 6077. I was going to say 7077. No, 6077. Start the text message with JM studio, and then the answer to the question, which is how many sweets are there in the jar? And of course, do not forget to put your customer number on there as well. If you answer correctly, you will win one of Gem's gorgeous pieces of jewellery tonight. It will be coming up in the second kit, isn't it? It is. It's the second kit, and we'll show you what that item is a little bit later on. But the question is, how many sweets are there in this jar? Don't sit and count them all. That's why I'm hiding part of it, so you can't see it all. Um, it is going to be a brilliant show, though. We have got Gem with us for the entire evening. We have got some amazing treats for you, including... Can I give you a heads up to this? Now, it is probably the most limited edition star buy that I have ever bought to you. We are looking at, was it 32? 
32 opportunities available on this particular star buy. It has been beautifully hand-picked by our gorgeous producer, who is, of course, Becky tonight. And she has decided not to give you one clasp. These are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. When you see them, you're going to fall in love. I can see you're already twinkling, twinkling at it. This is one clasp. This is the other clasp, which is a magnetic one. And then here we have a gorgeous, gorgeous pendant. Oh, this is so pretty. Would you say it's a pendant? Would you say it's a connector? I think you could use that however you see fit. It's see, it's called a connector. If you look at the graphics, it's called a connector, but so I would put it down as a, a pendant. How are we loop-wise? Do we have loops on loop. the back? Um, we basically, we have your little sections round the edges there. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, there's the hole going through the centre <gasps> Ooh. of there. So that's that multi-use, isn't that's it? That's what I mean. It's, it's not just a connector. It is as many different purposes as you can possibly find. Yeah, absolutely. You are going to get all three of them. There's 32 chances, and that is it. That's coming up at the end of this hour. It's going to be brilliant. Now, I'm going to bring to you, to start off with, one of the ultimate colours when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to pearls, peacock pearls are incredible, aren't they? But when you've got the sort of unicorny, mermaidial peacock colours then that is when I am absolutely falling in love with it what are you thinking I just love those it's my favorite of all the pearl colours uh, that we can bring you is the, the peacock is just gorgeous and to have that extra kind of rainbow effect with the peacock it's gorgeous love them I am I'm thinking mermaids definitely on this one although I am still steering towards the unicorn they're the kind of unicorn colours that you've you know you pretty know, pastels, pretty blues, pretty purples, pretty pinks. Oh, totally, yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I do a lot of quite alternative bridal jewellery. Mm. So for me to have some access to something like this, it's bridal because it's pearly, but it's extra. There's just something a little bit different about it. I really like that shade. It's gorgeous. You know what I love about this as well? The price. It is going to be amazing. Under £10 under £10 for all of these gorgeous pearls. They've got sort of a metallic -y sheen to them as well, haven't they? They do. That is a beautiful metallic luster over the surface. Absolutely glorious. Every single one of these, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Stretchy, maybe. I I'm a little bit not. stretchy obsessed, so. <laughs> Although I am thinking a choker. I'd like them with uh, some classical white pearls as well. Oh, very just nice. So that you can see the contrast. Do you know what? I'm just going to pinch this from over here. Something like that, maybe. Definitely. I do like how they work together because you have the thing that joins them is the pearlescence, but then you have quite different dynamicism in the different shapes, the different colours the different kind of surfaces that you're working with. So it's yeah. really lovely to see them together. Yeah, they're really lovely, aren't they? They're just beautiful. I'd like to put them with silver as well. I would like them with silver, but I'd also like them with antique bronze because Good your peacock choice. tones yeah. work so beautifully. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you know, they would look really nice as well. If you had one of these, maybe restrand it as a necklace, knot it if you would like, and add a connector or a clasp like this. This particular clasp, I think, would be beautiful. Now, I did work with something very similar on a Boxing Day show just last year. Mm. And it was uh, set with peacock pearls, so I know that it works very, very beautifully in terms of its sparkliness and its colour. Sparkle! Just... <laughs> We've got Lara. <laughs> Had to do it. Had to get it in. Sorry. <laughs> Had to. It has to be done. Um, or, if you like natural gemstones, a little bit of natu au natural, eh? A little bit mookite -y. Well, it's a lot mookite because it is mookite. <laughs> it is a gorgeous gemstone. Take a look at this one. Gem. Take a look at this one too. Love the mookite. Colours. That's like sunset <gasps> over the desert. Oh, I love it. Do you know what's nice with this? This one, 
reminds me of rhubarb and custard. Nom, 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 nom. I'm going to see how many references to sweets and cakes I can get into <laughs> this show tonight. Ben's going, I really want some food. <laughs> I always want food. My diet this week is done. I've done so well on my diet, I've put three pounds on. Let's just say it's muscle. If I'd have been doing exercise, I would believe that. I don't think talking can be classed as an exercise. No, and I know it uses my... I, I know. Yes, my vocal cords have gained three pounds in muscle mass this week. How about, because of that, we'll drop that to five pounds. That's fantastic. You've got such a lot of mookite and you see those perfect mookite variations. And for me, it's very much a gemstone of its location. It's a single locational gemstone from the Mooka Creek, isn't it? Absolutely. And it makes... I've never been to Australia. One day I hope to go. Um, but it, it kind of takes me to that place, or how I see it in my mind's eye, anyway. For me, it is a perfect representation of the landscape. So when you think about the Australian outback, you think of oranges, you think of um, sort of sandy yellows, you think of those fantastic, rich, very vibrant, but also very earthy tones and colours as well. And that's exactly what this gemstone does. It brings all of those colours together naturally, which is brilliant. Because even though this looks like it has been painted, it is not. It's a natural coloration. It's natural patterning that you're seeing on there. For me, this and Malachite are two of the best gemstones for their natural elements. Absolutely. The that, beauty, uh, the shape, the cl everything. Add in a tiger's eye and you've oh, yes. absolutely got me. Yes. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to leave that there with you. Five pounds, get a couple of those. I'd definitely get a couple of those. They're brilliant. There's such a lot on the strand. So many different ways you can work with those shapes as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Just one on a cord would be really lovely. Easy. Yeah. Now, we were talking about pearls just, weren't we? Mm-hmm. How about you add this to it? So it's sterling silver, cubic zirconia. It is a gorgeous connector clasp. So your connectors are there. You've got three on either side so if you've got a strand a three-stranded pearl necklace or bracelet that would be brilliant of course you don't need to use all the connectors if you don't want to but the choice is there for the three and then of course you've got your clasp element in the center there how pretty is this it's very very eye-catching i'd want that on the front of my jewelry wear it on a collarbone asymmetrically yeah. or down at the center yeah the uh, ne neck notch, can't remember the actual name of it, but there's a name for it just in, in that there part of your neck. There is, because we were told what that neck <laughs> notch was called, and I cannot remember. I can't remember either subjugular or something. I can't remember. It was something to do with the jugular, wasn't it? Mm. Or the other one, carotid, I can't remember. It's, no. it's something like that, but right in the notch of the neck, with the three strands stretching around the back. Possibly oh, pearls, nice. possibly black spinel. The combination of both would be nice. Absolutely glorious. I am thinking, though, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a <laughs> while. I, there's, you're looking at it as a connector, but there is no way that I would want this to be hidden in any way, shape or form. Because when you think, not connector, a, a class, when you think about class, you think of them hidden away, don't you? you the do. only time you ever see connectors or clasps like this where they are functional, but also incredibly beautiful, is when you're looking at high-end jewellers. We're talking about the big, big jewellery houses where the they either hide glove. it completely. Yes. Yeah. They either hide it completely so you can't see the clasp at all and it's kind of tucked away behind a gemstone or they really make a big feature of it. And that's exactly what they've done in this particular instance, isn't it? It is. And all that sparkle is just glorious. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. There's only three chances remaining, though, by the way. There's three of these available. That is it. Goodness me. I think these are going to end up selling out. Let's put it that way. I, I would be buying these at home as well. There's certainly something that would look beautiful in your prom jewellery and your bridal designs. There's a lot of scope for this outside of uh, your, your pearl necklaces. There's so many things that you can use it with. Proms are huge, aren't they? They are now. I mean, certainly when I was a child, we had a school disco. Who <laughs> didn't you have that? And uh, now, you know, the, the sweet sort of 15, 16 age, you, you have your prom and you have your, your, your big dresses and your headwear and your, your posh jewellery. So that would be on my hit list, definitely you know, for prom season. I missed out on it so much. 
that I ended up becoming a gothic model so I could wear the big dresses. <laughs> did. I did. I wanted to wear the big puffy dresses, and that's the only way I could do it, so there we are. Um, £16.95, there is one chance of these. That is it. Three down to one. Uh, now, I have got, of course, coming up in about half an hour, uh, my star by dee -dee -dee, the three clasps connectors. I say connectors like that because I, you, it could be anything. It could be a pendant. It could be a bracelet. Um, do you know what? Charm. Massive charm. It could indeed. I would certainly go for it. I, I, I quite like the statement feature jewellery and that's got such a lot going for it. Oh, oh, that sparkle is so pretty. It's pretty, isn't it? I, I still say pendant to the side, maybe that side, like that, hanging down slightly. Pendant, beautiful. Um, you've got your clasp there as well, which is the magnetic one, and then you've got this one here, which is that infinity symbol. Love it. And they're substantial clasps all Are they really on? So the one that you have in your hand right now, I used with a double strand, a lengthy, weighty double strand, uh, but it would take so much more than that. They're, they're really substantial clasps. You can work with some weighty gemstones. I do love these. Now, I have got to bring you, by far, the most pretty, delicate green for a jadeite. I love all kinds of tones for jadeite, but this one was just like, whew. this is that. Did you ever see the paint? They probably still have it, where it was like a hint of. Yes. So it was white with a hint of. Cornfield or apple. Yes. Mm. Hint of cornfield, hint of apple, hint of jade. That's the kind of look that it is. It's really soft. It's really subtle. It is absolutely stunning. Stunning. There is an elegance to this particular strand. It's beautiful. And there is a lady in this room right now who is wearing jade on. <laughs> who always wears her favourite strand Absolutely. of jade yes. Just a little jade out there with some garnet and some cuns out to go with. But uh, yeah, every day. I have noticed your bracelet collection is getting larger. Yeah, I might be obsessed. Oh, I'm the same though. <laughs> I looked at a photograph of myself when I graduated. I had at least six bracelets. And I thought my obsession with stretches was now. It's like, no, no it clearly went back a long way. It's always been there. Yeah. I, I was mad for rings. I would, yes. I would wear like 20 rings yeah, yeah, at yeah, one yeah. time. Oh, I love that. <laughs> More the merrier. That's the thing. It's come back round again, hasn't it? Because that was a big thing when I was a kid. Mm. Wearing, I say a kid. Teenager. Yeah. Feels like years and years and years. It was years and years and years ago. But lots of rings, lots of bracelets. And that's the big thing again. We're still stacking, we're still layering, we're still trying to give our, our personality and our characteristics in the way we wear our jewellery. It's about being individual these days, isn't it? And what's more individual than wearing one of the most beautiful, gorgeous greens? It's absolutely on point for a jadeite, I think. And it, it really does glow against your skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 190 carats. I thought you were going to say 190 percent then. 90 percent? That's, that's 90 a bit percent. strange. <laughs> yes, it goes beyond mm. the 100 percent. <laughs> Somebody's requested, can you see the jar of sweets again? Now, if, if I do, do you know what? If I do it, you're going to pause the screen, aren't you, and count every single one. I'll do it quickly. <laughs> it's about the size of my head. <laughs> How many sweets do you think I can fit in the size of my head, is the question. Who knows? Who knows? Um, the question is, how many sweets can you... Well, not that you can see. How many sweets do you think there are in this jar of sweets? It is a competition to win one of Gem's gorgeous items of jewellery. The one has been chosen, which will be coming up a little later on. It's actually in the second kit. We'll point it out when it comes on. But there is that question that you need to respond to. How many sweets are there in this jar? Send the message to 6077. Now, please, when you're answering the question, make sure you are adding your customer number. Otherwise, we will not know who you are or how to contact you. So put that customer number in. Otherwise, it will just be a name and that's it. So it's just going to be too complicated to find out if there is a Joe 
who might, we might have 100 Joes, we might have 600 Joes, we might have 600 Anns. So put your customer number down to make it easy for us because we, we like things simple. We do. Um, we do know how many sweets there are in that jar because the gorgeous Becky did stand and count them and throw sweets all over the floor. So I was picking up the sweets and adding the extra one every now and again. So I know how many there are in there as well, but I'm not telling you. Have we had any guesses in so far? 480 was a guess. 83 was also a guess. I can confirm that neither of those is correct. Not, I'm going to give you a clue, not quite so many as 400 and what was it, 80? Not, it's not as many as that. Not as many as that at all. <laughs> <laughs> there has been one that's come through for 119. So we've got 480, 119 and 84 so far has been guessed. None of them are right. None of them are right. That's it. None of them are right. Um, hold the lines on the jadeite. Now, next up... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Are you going to try and steal this from me again? I would like to point out that I did give you back yesterday's Labradorite Did strand. you? I didn't remember that. Oh, you little minx. <laughs> I, just, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> she did give it back. She did. It did take me uh, wrestling her <laughs> to get it back. <laughs> Talking of wrestling, what's your wrestling name? Oh, was it Voracious Rock or Voracious something? Voracious Rock. <laughs> Do you know what my wrestling name would be? <laughs> there were two versions, apparently. <laughs> King Meathead. Wait for it. Or the female version was Pretty Duchess. I think that's quite apt. It sounds like a pooch. A pedigree pooch, though. Possibly a, like a pug. No, I think a French bulldog. It's a bit specific, isn't it? Sorry. But, yeah. Ironically, I did see a, a French bulldog the other day. Aww. Did you run up and grab it and smush its little face? <laughs> no, it pretty much did that to me. Excellent. <laughs> now, moving swiftly on from one pooch to a Labradorite. Hi, I see what you did there. There we are. Um, we have got a gorgeous strand for you. No, I'm not letting her get a hold of it this time, but it is the same amazing quality as we saw yesterday. So we're looking at, look at all the personality. Because this Labradorite has all the personality. This is not a shy wallflower. It really isn't. You've got everything that I want to see in a strand, in one strand. You've got your golden sunsets, you've got your deep velvet blues, you've got your aqua blues, hints of green. We're going back to the hint of jade there. <laughs> <laughs> hint of green, hint of jade. They are incredible. And the thing is, I mean, it's Madagascan, so we already know Madagascan Labradorite has some of the most incredible intense colour displays that you would ever expect a Labradorite to have. Labradorite you do get from different locations around the world and they all are beautiful but they do have slightly different ways of displaying those colours so sometimes they have a darker background sometimes they have a greyer background others have more greens this is just such a beautiful all-round amazing gemstone if you love Labradorite you will absolutely adore 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 this because when the light catches it and those colours come out it's almost I want to say neon it's almost like a, it's electric. The kind of colour display that you get is it's electric blues, it's electric coppers. It's just, they're so vivid and so bright. And so, look, look, it's full beam. Full beam headlights. Yeah. In a dragon's eye. Oh, come on. That would petrify me if mm -hmm. I had my full beam headlights in a dragon's eye. But that's what I can imagine it looking like. That is what it, I can imagine it looking like that. Oh. You are getting on this strand, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven approximately on here. We are taking this ridiculously low. When we're saying tempting treats, this is going to be one of them. £10.95. That is very tempting. Mm, 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 mm. With a chocolate cake on the side, please. <laughs> so if you've never bought Labradorite before, 
wouldn't that be a beautiful introduction to a wonderful gemstone? It's captured my heart and maybe it'll capture yours. That's the thing, actually. We never really think about it as an introduction to a gemstone, but it kind of is. I'll tell you what, if you did speed dating with gemstones, this one would definitely stand out, wouldn't it? I couldn't just do three minutes. That's why you give the, the gemstone your phone number. <laughs> and arrange that first date. Well, that first date right now is £10.95 and it will be winging its way to you. And this could be the happily ever after you've been waiting for. Because think how many different things you could turn this into. Nine mil is a great size for a solitaire ring, isn't it? Oh, brilliant, a yeah. pair of earrings from either end and then everything else in between for me would be pendants. I love making Labradorite pendants. I love having it on, on people's skin. Uh, I do, as I said earlier, I make a lot of bridal designs, a little bit sort of alternative. And to see Labradorite on somebody's wedding day just sort of gleaming and glistening and mm. being adored and something to treasure and remember, it's gorgeous. Can you imagine wearing this? Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? You might need to be rather careful if you're driving. Yes. You might have to take your ring off first, otherwise you'll... Oh, catch sight and lose concentration so just pop back to one side until you get to where you're going you may think that sounds funny but it is genuine <laughs> that can happen not that I know from experience or anything I was wearing my big labradorite ring I was it was fine it was fine but as soon as it flashed I kind of went oh oh better take that off yeah but it do, it does it will catch the light and you will go oh what's that <laughs> if you're a sparkly magpie yeah, which I am. Yeah, which I am. Um, what was the next one, my lovely? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're going to love these. I'm going to pop these there a second and use this. These are nicer than I even anticipated. So I had my eye on these when I was looking at the schedule earlier on because I just thought, oh, they look so cute. But you never quite see just how cute they are until you see them in the flesh. And these are just, these are perfect. Oh my goodness, these are perfect. These with the um, jadeite from earlier on. Absolutely spot on. I've got a not dissimilar Look. pair of silver hearts on my jadeite stretchy. Look at the thickness of it as well. That's Often incredible. when you see the hearts, they're normally a lot finer than this, aren't they? They're not quite as thick. Yeah. Well, you've got a massive, substantial amount of, of sterling silver there. And a good aperture through which to thread. I, I can't see any problem with elastic yeah. going through there. 1.8 mil. The aperture is? Yeah, um, hole is 1.8 millimetres. That's absolutely fantastic. How amazing. So yeah. you can't quite fit a 2 in there, but you could fit a 1.5. The thing I find if you're using a two millimetre satin is if you cut the end of the satin on a slant or okay. burn it on a slant, you can quite often fit it in smaller holes. So I would want to put those on a hot purple two millimetre satin and macrame around them because it, it, it has a tendency to squish down a bit as long as you get the ends right. It's worth a try. Yeah. There's always 1.5 mil. Anything's worth a try, yeah. <laughs> Anything's worth a try. As long as it doesn't damage anything. Well, it's always satin, worth a go, it's yeah. all squishy. Yeah. All squishy. <laughs> Love it. All squishy. So, five of them in a pack is what you're getting. They're so pretty, aren't they? Now, it should be £17.95, not today. We are doing tempting treats. So, if you want to get yourself these gorgeous spaces, we're about to give you an amazing tempting treat. How many do we have? Good job. We've got 94 of these. £10.95 for a pack of five... That is cracking. £2.19? Works out something like that, yeah. Hmm. It, it, it is basically, that is, your cherry on top of your cake. It is, isn't it? Definitely. Cherry on top of the, or the icing on top of the cake. Wouldn't they look gorgeous with a nice, chunky garnet as well? Ooh. Now, here's a question. Food related, of course. <laughs> if it's not gemstone or jewellery related, it's got to be food related, hasn't it? And today it's tempting treats. Bakewell tart, mm -hmm. with or without icing. See, there's one for with, but I think traditionally it's without. Yeah, it's almost like a batter. But then, isn't that the made of tarts? Oh, I don't know. 
When I went to Bakewell oh, hundreds of years ago on the back of a motorbike, we brought Bakewell tarts back with us and they were not iced. This They're is just the, a this pastry is the case with a batter in the centre. With the jam at the bottom. With the jam underneath, yeah. And then it's normally with um, almonds flaked on top, isn't it? You do get a couple of the almonds, although there's almonds in the batter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But normally, traditionally, it's no, no icing and it's got the almonds on top. And also, I imagine if they'd been iced, they probably wouldn't have managed to come back via motorbike. Because really? they would have gone all squish. Oh. <laughs> there we are. There we go. Well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter if they're iced or not. They're amazing or look fabulous in any kind of way. Now, next up, I'm going to bring to you... Do, 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 the gold version. Ah, lovely. We need to get these. These are lush. I think if you have one colourway, it's kind of smart to have the other colourway too. If, even if you don't like the different colourways, it is, it's always a really good idea to actually um, look at doing that because if you are making for gifts, not everyone likes the same colour as you do. This is true. I found that. And the moment I've got, I've got the gold colourway in my findings mm -hmm. because I've run out of my silver findings. I've got a tiny amount left in fairness. I've run out of silver as well. Yeah, I use it a lot. Uh. So they're, they're <laughs> kind of gone. Um, but... My friend who I'm making um, a bracelet for for her birthday mm -hmm. does not like the colour gold. Ah. She likes rose gold and I don't have any rose gold. In my ear, Becca's going, is it me? Is it, when's your birthday? Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. You did just say how much you like rose gold. Um, now, they, they are... They are just as beautiful as the rose gold ones. It definitely, if you've got the other ones, grab a hold of these ones as well. It really is an ideal thing to have the different colourways. Because like I said, not everybody likes the same colours. Some people prefer gold. Some people prefer the, the rose gold. Some people prefer silver. Same price as well. Just as substantial on the amount of silver weight you're getting there. 3.1 grams of sterling silver. 3.1 grams of sterling silver in that. That's amazing. That's quite a lot of silver, isn't it, for it's the beads? It's a massive yeah. amount of silver. As you say, they're, they're kind of uh, deeper than you would normally see, but they do have that beautiful curvature to them. They're like chubby hearts. They really are. What I like about it is I would not be unhappy to put that next to a 10 mil, or even a 12 mil. They're substantial enough to hold their own, I think. Definitely. And because you've got them, the hole goes through the side, they sit quite nicely. Just having them separated slightly. Yeah, they're really pretty. I maybe want one in the centre. You could just have the one. Mm. And with the size of the hole, if you are using them on elastics, I'm pretty sure you could fit your elastic knot inside the bead. Oh, so you could hide it. So you could hide, nice. hide the knot. Yeah, good call. Good shout on that, Gem. Good shout. But it might, it's worth a try, isn't it? yeah. It is indeed. I mean, it's, it's, it is big enough to hide it. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Now, next up, I'm going to bring to you some butterflies. Rose gold. Oh, these are cute. Sterling silver, rose gold plated. Little flutterbys. I like butterflies. They're just, they're lovely. The way that the wings are angled away from each other, it will enable the metal to kind of reflect back. I mean, you can see the way you're moving it now, it will catch the light and it will be really quite impressive. Yeah, it's really reflective. Which is what I, I like a lot about having the sterling silver with the gold plating, mm -hmm. because you still have such an amazing quality with the silver. It is almost like a luminosity, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost mirror-like as well, actually, when you're looking at the... You can see it, can't you? Just there. I think I'd want to stack a couple on the same junk ring and oh, let them you? sort of jingle against each oh. other. And it'll have quite a cute little tinkling effect. That'd be really lovely. Are you thinking pendant-wise, like a necklace-wise, or are you thinking earrings? I'm thinking earrings or on the wrist, on a charm bracelet or on nice. a stretchy. Yeah, I mean, there's so many ways that you can use them. How many are in a pack? There's three, three in a pack. Three in a pack. So for me, I would multi-buy and then I'd get a, a short length of a rose gold finished chain and then I'd have them set 
at different lengths down that chain. Nice. So it'd be like a little stack of butterflies. So would you use one chain or would you use three chains? Oh, damn. Okay, so I'm not just buying two anymore, I'm buying four and I'm doing variations. Da -da! <laughs> £9.95 for the three. So it was, works out at £3. Is it 33? Close enough. 332. 332, 333. <laughs> um, we've got, what was that one? We've actually got some. Co Everything's hairy. <laughs> some connectors. I think Carol was saying about things being hairy early on. They really are. It wasn't my dogs, they're still at home. <laughs> no, no, it, it seems to be. There's been several comments about hairy, hairiness. <laughs> <laughs> regarding sets and things today. So Carol mentioned it. Then you came in and went, my top's all hairy. And I'm coming in now and, and it, the, yeah. Maybe we have uh, little, little visitors, cats maybe? Perhaps. Who knows? Now, I've got the connector version. So again, same gorgeous sterling silver, same gorgeous plating um, with the rose gold. This time connectors with the holes going straight through the centre. That's beautiful. You could use them like buttons almost, couldn't you? Ooh. Or thread them onto a, a wire the same way that you would thread them as buttons or through ribbon. Or use them to connect two lengths of chain and then have one of the other butterflies at the bottom of the length of chain. Either as earrings or as a, a number of them as a cascading pendant. I'm thinking wish bracelet because you can have the threads going through the centre mm -hmm. And then you've got the macrame on either side. You could indeed. That, for me, is, is, a, is a straightforward. I think quite a, a fine macrame as well, because yeah. the wings would sit above the macrame weaving, wouldn't, it? wouldn't they? Yes. That would look really, really pretty. Yeah. Just to sit quite pretty. Yeah. Two pounds each. Two pounds each. Five of them in the pack. Use them in any different way that you would like. Well, I mean, they're quite nice to layer them, actually. Or even turn the whole thing into a full bracelet or a necklace. They would be quite pretty as hairpins yes. as well. Because you wouldn't have to work terribly hard to uh, put a length of wire through and then ball the other end of the wire up so that it doesn't scratch the scalp. Yeah. And they're just the right size to be delicate and pretty. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Now, I've got something very special for you coming up a little bit later on. Now, earlier on, Carol did bring to you the sterling silver version. Well, I've got the rose gold plated version and I have also got the gold plated version as well. So we are looking at your little bird cages, little bird cage pendants or charms, depending on how you want to use them. And they're coming up a little bit later on. These are going to be my star buy, back-to-back -back star buys um, at 8 o'clock. Oh, and they tweet. Oh, Jan. Sorry. At least it's not me making the bad jokes today. <laughs> at, least, at least I'm having a break from it. <laughs> they are tweet indeed. Oh, they're so pretty. They are really adorable, actually, aren't they? Bird cages are very on trend as well at weddings at the moment. Quite often, yes. instead of a sort of a floral display yeah. in the centre of the table, there's a like a gilded faux bird cage with different things inside of it. And um, the animals sort of themes are coming in quite big mm. as well in the in the fashion world when it comes to jewellery. It's another one of those bang on trend <laughs> things for 2018. So actually having the birdcage itself, earring-wise, they'd look really lovely. You don't have to work too hard with them to make them look super effective. No. They we sometimes really have the little strands of shell bird shapes as well. Yes. The ones that look like little tortoises if you turn them over. They do! <laughs> if you turn them upside down, they do. But I'd be tempted to use one of those from my stash with these as well. Yeah. They're so pretty! Mix and match. Again, mix and match. Now, they're coming up at 8 o'clock. Now... I am going to bring you, squeeze one more in before we bring you the star by, which of course is my gorgeous clasps. This is the clasp selection that we've got coming up for you. There's only 32 of these available. It's the smallest quantity auction, uh, not auction, smallest quantity star by that I've bought to you. I'll just open that one. Actually, it's, it's not worth opening that one. 
It probably is. I'm trying not to let, I want to tip it up, but I don't want it to roll off. Do you know what? Let me just, I am going to open it. Hopefully that'll work. There we are. Just imagine that's a circle, because otherwise it'll roll off. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze one more in before I bring this one to you, my lovely. Let me bring to you some silver plated tubes. Curved tubes as well. They are literally the coolest thing I've ever seen. They're brilliant, aren't they? <laughs> They're absolutely brilliant. They're massive as well. So, Jim, if I handed this pack of five to you, what would you do? I would strand them with a faux suede or a faux leather and I'd have all five lined up on the back of the wrist, drawn round to the front, bringing the strands together and then a simple connector. Possibly a macrame connector as well, so it would be quite comfortable underneath. Brilliant. I think that having them all stacked up together, they'd be really, really beautiful. There's something almost mechanical about them, or almost sort of bridge-like. See, what I would do is I would use them individually mm -hmm. and I would have it so something was stamped on the front, so whether it's an initial or love or, or name or whatever it is, and then I'd have it so it was plaited um, leather mm -hmm. or plaited cord so it became sort of a gentleman's piece. Mm -hmm. De very, very definitely suitable for any gender, I think. Under five pounds. That is a pound each. That's it's actually fun. less than a pound each. Valentine's Day for men. Slightly, slightly too close to Valentine's Day, but there we are. Um, now, I am going to have to get you to read that because my, uh, my, my little pad's not well. Just switched on. Can I ask why Lara has a jar of sweets? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> That's from Hazel. Hazel, my lovely, it's because we are doing a competition and the jar of sweets is here because you've got to guess how many sweets there are in the jar. Becky, my producer, did count the majority of them. I counted the odd one or two in there as well. So we do know how many there are in there. There is a specific number. We would like you to guess that number. And if you win, there's a couple of people who got it right so far. I'm not going to say who it is, but there's a couple of people. We will then pull out one of those. And you will be in with a chance to win one of Gem's gorgeous pieces of jewellery, which will be seen later on in kit number two. I can say it is not as low as 45, but it's not as high as 490. That gives kind of a broad scope there, doesn't it? It's not <laughs> as low as 40, but it's not as high as, let's say, it's not as high as 500, it's not as low as 40, it's somewhere in between... Betwixt the two is your answer. There we are. I kind of want to give a clue, but I'm not going to. <laughs> There's not 24, Ben. There's not 24. There's not 27, Ben. Don't, please do not start counting from 27 up to as far as you can think of. <laughs> the, the... He's still trying. He's still trying. Um, do send your message in if you do want to guess the amount of um, sweets there are inside this particular jar. Um, you can message into six zero treble seven. Start your message with JM Studio, then the answer, and do not forget to put your customer number on there as well, because otherwise we will have no way of getting back in touch with you. So please remember to put your customer number on there as well. So far, a lot of you have messaged in, and a huge quantity have got it wrong, unfortunately. Um, how many got it right? Was it two? Only one. One person so far has got it right. And I'm not going to say who it is just yet, because we're going to carry on throughout, and then whoever, it depends on who, how many people we get in, we'll pull one out. But so far, one is correct. It is, though. Not just tempting treat time, it's star by time. Now, this is by far the most limited star by that I've bought to you in goodness knows how long. So, we are looking at 32 chances and that is it. So, if you see it, you like it, you love it, you want it, grab it. 32 that is it. Full stop. The end. If I had 132, I don't think there'd be enough, but we've only got 32. So we are looking at one of the most gorgeous selections of clasps. We are looking at a magnetic clasp. We are looking at it beautifully adorned 
with gorgeous CZ. It's literally every single inch of this that could possibly be covered with sparkle, has been covered with sparkle. It is, of course, magnetic as well, so it's one of our more popular items. Remember, do not go for it if you have got a pacemaker. What was the other thing, pacemaker or...? There are certain other intra-body devices that rely on magnetism and electricity, and those are the ones that you need to kind of be aware of. Yes, because it is magnetic. Stay away from it in that case. Uh, but they are fabulous if you don't have any of those. The other clasp that we have, I'm in love with. It is, again, adorned with as many CZ as we could possibly cram on there. And it's the infinity symbol. So I love you for forever. Oh, I love you forever for two. Forever for two? Forever for two. Is two, that two forever? Two lots of forevers. Yeah, let's that. Is that, that forever in two different dimensions? Yeah, always. Amazing. <laughs> um, it is a really lovely clasp. And you mentioned you've actually worked with this one before. I have worked with that one and it's absolutely stunning and it does tone so well with the pearls. I'm just going to show you the end of it a moment. Because you have got two holes in there. Did you use those to actually attach the... Yes, I did. I threaded um, the beading thread a great big long length of it on the other side th than where you're looking at it now. And then back through so that the two cut ends were coming yeah. out of the holes that you were looking at just then. Oh, so then it hides it? Brilliant. Continue to bead that way. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant idea. Uh, half the stock has already been allocated. And I've only got to the second clasp. The next one is not so much a clasp... Or a connector. It, it is kind of a connector, but it is so many other things as well. I don't like just calling it a connector because you could have it as a pendant. You could have it as a ring. It is opening itself up to every single opportunity because you have got the sections running along the outside. You've got the depth to that brilliant zinc alloy. And then you've got the holes all the way through, including right down the centre. We're going, I think they're going really quickly, aren't they? I love that you have that hole down the center as well because you could very very simply just pop a head pin through if you're very new to jewelry making generate yourself a little wrapped loop at the top and use it as just a very pretty simple make pendant absolutely there was a bit of panicked moment there from my producer going oh no i've got to get the price in they're going too quick <laughs> but how, how, how they, you were going to go quick anyway <laughs> there was only 32 chances available that's it so 13 pounds 85 it is a bit of a random price point but we've crammed everything in this that we could stock wise and we have squeezed every single penny out of it we could as well so you've got an incredible treat it's your zinc alloy it is your cz and they are just lovely absolutely lovely oh i think they're so pretty Now I have got, I'm going to give you a heads up because they are flying out. Um, I'm going to give you a heads up for what's coming up after the little break here. Now I've got some clasps for you. Well, just any clasps. Another one of these amazing deals. Um, we have got a selection of clasps together. So you've got these beautiful little, oh, little dolphin hearts. Aww. Also heart hearts. Almost like a lock heart that is, isn't it? Oh. That is sweet. It is beautiful. And these ones as well. So we have got this selection for you. Is this the one that is lovingly known as Aloy Aloy? Aloy Aloy. It is going to be coming up after the break on that one. Is there enough time for me to squeeze another one in? Because they've just gone, haven't they? They've gone so quickly. Well done if you managed to get a hold of them. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, ooh, hello. Oh, Gem, you're going to love these. Bless you. Thank you. Are you feeling a little bit fluey? No. No, just, just a little, a just a sneeze. Yeah. Bless you. Now. Gem, what do you think of this? I love these. The design on them is really pretty. That's adorable. Still in silver, flat wire, or flat round wire, stud earrings. They are really sweet. 
They are really, really sweet. And they are slightly different. The actual design on them is slightly different. I'm just trying to work out how it's been done and I don't know that I can from here. <laughs> and it's been sort of coiled over on top of itself. It looks like a wire has been used, it's sort of been threaded around and around and it has been welded. I suppose welded, is that the right term? Probably soldered together. Soldered, that's yeah. it. It's welded really, is industrial, really isn't it? <laughs> Big. Have you ever tried welding? No. Oh, I did it once. It didn't end well. Did you do a flash dance thing as well? No, I didn't. I did a, a running out of the thing after I set fire to my jumper dance. And yes, yeah. Did. Yeah, of course I did. It's me. This is why they don't trust me with hot things. <laughs> or glue or sharp things. I wondered why the health and safety did our shows. <laughs> um, £4.95. They are really, 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 really beautiful. Studs with the backs to them as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous sterling silver. They're simple. You wouldn't have to do anything to them if you didn't want to. Stained glass window affect them with resin though, maybe? Oh yes, I have seen a technique on one of our social media sites um, where you can use quite colourful nail varnish or nail yes. polish yeah, yeah. and just kind of sideways with the brush generate a little glossy, almost like a stained glass window. Yeah. So if you don't have access to the resin or the cerulean or other, that's a, a kind of a craft project you can have a go at. Yeah, Sheila did it a while ago on a, on a... We had like the earring round okay which had got the little patterns in and yeah. she showed how to do it oh, on the back of one of those and it, it's, it's a lot more effective than you would expect with nail varnish and it sticks especially if you've got slightly gloopy nail varnish because mm -hmm. it holds better doesn't it so the older the nail varnish the better i suppose is the best way to do it and you don't need very much do you so no. you can use up all those little old jars that are really not good enough to do your whole manicure with yeah ah. you could as well Use little jump rings in there and hold cascade things from them. Oh, definitely. It's always useful when you have treats like this that have little apertures that you yeah. can attach into or um, use them both in the same ear and then do a very fine rosary link. So one from a low piercing, one to a high piercing, maybe. That's a nice idea as well. What was the next one, lovely? Ooh, ooh. Is there an owl in the building? <laughs> 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 Who are you talking about? <laughs> um, I have got some Amatrine. Ooh. Amatrine Dream. They are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? It's so nice to actually have Amatrine in again. I remember years ago, years and years and years ago, we, were, we had loads of it. Loads and loads and loads of amateur. The industry had masses of it. And when you get to see a lot of it, you kind of expect that's what it's always going to be like. And you forget when you're working with genuine gemstones that actually you could see it masses and masses and masses of it for a month. And then it will be 10 years before you see it again. It's really bizarre how things work. But when you work with, with genuine products, when you're working with something that's not made in a factory, that's not mass produced... It's a case of grab it while you see it because you might not see it again. And there's been so many gemstones that that's happened with. But Definitely. for me, Amatrine was one. Yeah, I mean, we, we do tend to become a little bit blasé when there's something that you, you see more frequently. Mm. But this is, is one of those gemstones that I would... I'd kind of grab it because it's yeah. my one of my favourite gemstones is Amethyst. But then you've got Amethyst with sunlight, with drops of gold and... Intensity, it's got. I love it. It's beautiful. Amethyst for sunlight. I think that's yeah. the best description you can actually give to an amethyst, isn't it? <laughs> it is brilliant. Is Absolutely this the one that's brilliant. also also known as Bolivianite? Um, that's what I'm just going to want to check the location of this particular one. Oh. It doesn't actually say, but it should. If it is Amatrine, it should be from Bolivia. Um, I've not actually heard it known as Bolivianite, but mm -hmm. it normally Amatrine is from Bolivia. So That's how I first came to know it, okay. and I thought, well, that's a, a very confusing name. <laughs> yeah, it's because I... generally it's, it's normally sourced from one particular mine. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely glorious. 
I think these days you can get it from other locations as well. And I do ah. know that for a long time it was one gemstone that was not managed to be replicated by man. They have managed to succeed to do that now. Now, I saw very many years ago one of the first man-created strands and the split was so perfect and it, artificial yeah. looking and it had been through both a heat process followed by an irradiation process and it just looked off it just looked it's, wrong it didn't it's got a very strong color as well mm. doesn't it the the yellows are very yellow and the yes. purples are very purple and you're right about the split the split is exact or oh, sometimes the split can even be it's really bizarre slightly squared yes so it kind of you know like harry potter scar <laughs> You almost get like a Harry Potter scar effect in the split. It's really quite bizarre. Um, but here you are getting the real deal. £9.95. Get yourself the authenticity card. Definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it when you're working with a gemstone like this. A few years ago, there was a, a law passed to prevent any of the rough being sold outside of the country without it being prepped in the country. So before that, people would come in, they would buy big quantities um, of the gemstone and, and facet it themselves, whereas now everything has to be done in, in the country, which is brilliant. It gives a lot of um, sort of co industry and commerce to that particular location, which is fabulous. Now, believe it or not, we have come to the end of this particular hour. It does mean that we're about to go straight into something amazing. We have got the first kit. Is there any possibility we can give you a little sneak peek of the jewellery that uh, is going to be coming up because you need to see this. Also, don't forget, I have got the clasps. The first thing is my star buy as we come back in with those gorgeous zinc alloy alloy clasps. Can we see it? Can we see it? Oh, this is one of many, because Gem doesn't do things by half. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different items that we're going to be seeing in a moment or two. But when we come back, we are going to be bringing you those gorgeous clasps. It's going to be amazing. So get yourself ready for a demo. Guess how many, I was going to say gemstones, guess how many sweets there are in the jar. It's not 40 and it's not 480. Sit back, relax, get yourself a brew. And do you know what? I might be having one of those uh, sweets. See you in two. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information.
If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the program guide on our website. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend $4.95 with us, you'll get a free welcome pack, which contains everything you need to get started, including step-by-step -step project cards and a DVD, which will give you the chance to be able to create an arrangement of different items of jewelry. You'll also get a manual, which will help to familiarize you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus, you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Hello and welcome back. Now, I did say we're going to go straight into the clasps. It is a gorgeous little treat for you. It's a little treat. That's not a little treat, is it? It's quite One, a big two, treat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mm. 16 clasps. Do you want to have a look at the clasps? Can I? Oh, you can. I like these ones. Beautiful. So we've got three different clasps. Three different designs. 16 individuals. So you're getting three of these ones, which... I think out of all of them, these are quite possibly my favourites. Not that I can have a favourite, but these might be it. They're all gorgeous. They are all gorgeous. But I've never seen these particular ones before. I've seen the other two before, so... Having something unusual like this... Oh, that's always a winner, isn't it? Absolutely. They're really big and substantial as well. So if you look at the side, you've got a great amount to work with. You see the aperture there is brilliant. And because they are, what was the term you coined yesterday? Easy off the only? <laughs> easy off and honourable. That's it, easy off and honourable. <laughs> they are really smooth. And because they are so large, they're easier to work with as well. You don't have to worry about breaking fingernails and things, unlike the really tiny ones where I've broken so many fingernails on those. These are fabulous. Now, this one's a gorgeous one as well. The filigree, really pretty, really elegant, go lovely with some pearls maybe. I'm thinking spinel, microfaceted spinel. Always. And the third clasp is this one, which is a dolphin heart. It's classed as a floating heart, but I say it's more a dolphin heart. I see dolphins too. It's because the clasp element's there, isn't it? And then you've got your little hoop at the top so and it almost looks like a dolphin's nodding yes oh, he's chattering maybe <laughs> i'm impressed have oh. you taken lessons from leah i have <laughs> she's a very good teacher <laughs> she's a lot better at it than i am though <laughs> <laughs> can't do dolphins no <laughs> they are fabulous so you're getting five of the dolphin ones you're getting two five eight of the filigree ones and three of the lock hearts We've only got 56 of them in total. Now, the class that we had earlier on flew out. This is going to be just the same. You're getting a massive quantity, and we're about to give you... I say quantity actually in each one, but we've only got 53 remaining. And we're under £10. 
That's fantastic. That is 16 individual bracelets or necklaces that you could make out of this for less than £10. Fabulous. I'm, I look at these, of the, the larger hearts, and I see them just as earrings, just hooked on really? to an I ear like, wire. Yeah, yeah. I think they're really such a beautiful polish and shape to them. And you have uh, a little aperture at the base of the heart, the pointy section, which you could wire through if you wanted to. And I think they'd be super, super effective earrings. Mm, quite like the idea of that. Look nice as a pendant as well. So you've got a trilogy there, haven't you? So you could have a pendant and earrings. So beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely. Half the stock has already been allocated. I am not surprised. No, nor am I. <laughs> nor am I. That's brilliant. I am thinking they do, you'll be very right on that, they do stand out individually, don't they? They yeah. don't necessarily need to be clasps. You wouldn't have to use them as their originally intended purpose. See, that's what I like about jewellery making. Mm. You don't have to use anything for what it's supposed to be. Just, it, your imagination is the limit. That's it. So if you can't imagine it, you can't do it. If you can imagine it, there's, there's gonna be a way. Have a go. Yeah, have a go. Have a go. If you want to turn a clasp into a pendant, go for it. If you want to turn a clasp into, I don't know, earrings, go for it. A charm, go for it. Mm-hmm. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So these um, navette shaped ones, they remind me of very, very traditional uh, clasps that would be used for pearls. Ah. So late Victorian, the Victor Edwardian Victorian, and yeah. into Edwardian yeah. times, uh, you would find that because pearls weren't readily available, obviously we hadn't quite gotten the hang of culturing them at that point. Mm. Uh, a lot of people would invest in very high quality faux pearls, glass pearls and the such. Uh, and you would see clasps like this on those very traditional strands. And I think it's such a beautiful design. My first experience of pearls were not real pearls. They were faux pearls. Mm -hmm. And it was with my nun's set of pearls. Mm -hmm. And they did, in fact, have a clasp like this. And that always makes me smile, sort of thinking of that yeah. recollection. For me, it was my great auntie Sis. And, and she had a strand of faux pearls, which had a, a, a clasp not dissimilar. I managed to break that set of faux pearls. <laughs> but it has, it did start me off loving pearls. Yeah, very much so. Um, for 21 chances remain on this. We only had 56 of them to start off with. Um, there is 16 of these in the pack. Eight. Yeah, 16. Just wanted to double check that. <laughs> Just wanted to double check. 16 in total, 19 chances remain. It works out at, was it 62 pence each? 62 pence each. That's a bit good, isn't it? Amazing. The lovely quality as well. Sometimes when you go elsewhere, other places, uh, obviously there are a, a broad selection of places that you can choose to shop, but sometimes you'll find that the pin section, the movable section within a clasp, it doesn't sit quite true. Uh, which means that you can lose your jewellery and yes. none of us wants to go to yeah. the effort of, of making beautiful jewellery with gemstones or no. crystals or pearls to have it just slip away from us. So knowing that those points fit perfectly and it is absolutely mm. going to do the job it's designed for, for me, is, is just a no-brainer. Yeah. See, the thing is as well, I think the clasp, for me, is one of the most important finishes to a design. You have to get it right. You have to absolutely get it right because you can make the most beautiful piece of jewellery and if you cheap out... Yeah on the class, yeah. it can be the difference between a happy giftee or a very unhappy customer. Yeah. Now, I'm going to leave those final 12 there with you, my lovelies. Final 12 chances there remain. Make sure you're checking those baskets out. I'm going to bring to you the one and only gorgeous chance. Hi, darling. Enjoying your dinners, I hope. Oh, don't. <laughs> What cake are you having? Because it is it's sweet treats day today, isn't it? <laughs> scone. Not scone, scone. Not scone, scone. <laughs> Not scone, scone. We had this debate for very many years. I always used to say scone and my husband would say scone. Uh, but he kind of told me that when you say stone, 
it's spelt the same way as scone. Exactly. So I've I've given in and I've started calling it scone. See, now. it's the same. Mm. Until you've eaten it. It's not called. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's gone. It's crumbs <laughs> then. <laughs> and then it's yeah. gone. Oh. <laughs> Moving swiftly on oh. from that, um, we have got some amazing pieces for you. Can we have a look at the entire collection? We need to see these. These are stunning. I love, 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 love the shape. And ironically, I was talking to Gem earlier on because for the first time I wire wrapped um, a stone yesterday, <laughs> which happened to be this shape. It was a lot smaller. It was mm -hmm. a, a friend who'd bought some jade um, in China when he went over there. Um, and he bought the tiniest piece of jade, which cost him a lot of money. And he went, um, and he's been having it on, he had a, a, a leather strap originally, mm -hmm. and that broke. And then apparently, it seems to be every year he has to replace the strap. Very commonly, you have a, a particular type of, it's not quite the same as a lark's head knot, it's like a, a, a Chinese variant of a lark's head knot. Yeah. And that's how traditionally the coins and the drilled coins, yeah, yeah. the drilled flat beads are, are, are strung. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you do tend to need to look after them. Yeah, so I was, I was uh, tasked the challenge <laughs> of attempting to make it a little bit more um, sturdy. So that was a bit nerve-wracking. But... The, the shape is gorgeous to work with, I have to say. They are seriously gorgeous to work with. These are a lot more substantial than the one that I was working with last night. I would still want to sort of wrap it the same way, which is actually very similar to what you've done, whereas mm -hmm. you've actually done the, the wire wrapping and you've got the um, almost the basket effect. Yes. Mine was just really lazy and just three wraps of the it's the first time you've wrapped around. something then you know you need to not be beating yourself up because we're all on a journey aren't we we're all kind of learning as we go yeah, but it was it was it was somebody else's if it was <laughs> mine i wouldn't have you know minded so much but it's i wanted to make sure i did a good job and i had didn't but he's wearing it so it's all good i said i'll make it do it better next time we're going to see them in april we're going, we're going up to Carlisle to see them. But it, it, it's a really lovely shape to work with. And when you've got this beautiful tiger's eye... I mean, you were saying how much you love your tiger's eye. I do. It's absolutely stunning. You get those ribbons of the chatoyancy running through. All those different tones in one gemstone. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of um, reading Rapunzel as a child. Oh! Just kind of weaving gold from straw. It's beautiful. That's a really, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really lovely idea. Never thought of it like that. You were thinking of Rumpelstiltskin, though, aren't you, rather than Rapunzel? Oh, you're totally right there. Yes, Rumpelstiltskin, that's the one. That's the story. There we are. Yeah. Um, now, my lovely, I am going to need to ask you to give me the specifications of the strands because, obviously, the pad isn't working, so I can't tell you um, how long the strand is or anything like that. You are looking at... Not that fast! <laughs> 98... 98? Oh dear, everything's, everything's crashing. Everything's crashing. <laughs> We're looking at tiger's eye anyway. Six mil tiger's eye. I can give you that much information. Um, 38 centimetres in length is the strand. Just take a look. I think it's around about 95 carats we're looking at as well. Look at these. They're six beautiful. mil. And six mil is your absolutely wonderful size. It will work on the wrist, it will work on the neck anywhere that you're looking to use it absolutely fabulous they're brilliant aren't they so it is it is we've got the confirmation it is 95 carats in total that you're looking at here of course it's completely natural um, they are they're just they're, they're one of the most amazing gemstone stones gemstones <laughs> it's because we're saying scone and gone then and scone and goodness me um, so it's a 38 centimeter strand that you're getting here now how about some black agate works so so well with the gold of the wire and with the golden hues within the tiger's eye, it's a dream combination together. I love that. Now, is this three mil we're looking at here? Four I... mil. 38 centimetres again on the strand, and it's four mil that we're working with here. I love the fact it's black agate and not just 
uh, a strand of spinel, it gives something else to it as well, especially when you're working with the tiger's eye. I think they're, comp like you're saying, complementary. They do work so beautifully together, and agate's got such a gloss to it. It does. It has what I would class as a high vitreous luster, so a glass-like yes. luster. They are gorgeous. So the whole strand of those. And on top of that, take a look at this. It's perfection. It's absolute perfection. These have obviously been cut by really well-trained and very experienced Absolutely. artisans. It's 60 carats that you're getting in this one of your black agate. And it is, what was the dimension of it? 45 millimetres. Now, I'll be honest with you, I was quite tempted to make rings. Ooh. But I thought I would have been told off for doing something that Why? was a little bit uh, OTT. However, I did lay it on the back of my hand for a little while and it would be beautiful on the wrist. It would, on a, a cocktail ring, so for your middle finger, it would work beautifully as a ring. I genuinely think I it would. I was going to question about that because I have got... I like the, my Labradorite ring mm -hmm. is a massive, massive cocktail ring. Yeah. But it, used, it was bought originally for my index finger, uh -huh. and I've clearly put weight on since then, so it will only fit on my middle finger. So you can wear cocktail rings on your middle finger. You can wear cocktail rings pretty much wherever you please. You're totally in charge of your own personal style, but for me, when I create a cocktail ring, I create for the middle finger because I make them quite large and quite showy, and that means that there's overspill onto your ring finger and to your index, and for me, it just seems more logical to yep, craft them yep. for that position. So I, I, I hesitated and I went for pendants because we all know I love pendant making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love them. Do love them. So you're getting those. And of course, you are as well getting your copper wire. Now, you'll be getting three spools of your copper wire. It's gold coloured, silver plated, round copper wire. And you shall be getting it in one mil. And that's a 10 metre spool. You will also be getting it in 0 0.6 mil, and that is also a 10 metre spool. And you'll be getting it in 0 0.4 mil, and that is also another 10 metre spool. All of that together should come to a total of £34.95. But not today. We're going under 20 bambinos. Hang on a minute, 34.95 was for the three wires, the two donuts and the two strands? Yes. Okay, well that... It's not two separates. Because often we have kit one and kit two, don't we? Now that, that is kit one. That's amazing! Uh -huh. That is absolutely cracker-lacking. £19.95 and you would have been happy with it at 34.95? At 34.95 I would have been delighted. But beautiful, beautiful gemstones. And again, as I say, the quality of the craftsmanship involved in cutting those donut shapes. Do we call them donuts? Or we do, do we call not? them donuts. We do, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> it is sweet treats, so we call them donuts. Um, it, it, do not eat them, please, do not eat them. <laughs> um, we are looking at two of the donuts, so one in the tiger's eye, one in the black agate, two of the strands, one in the tiger's eye, one in the black agate, and three spools of wire for less than £20. If you That's see it, amazing. you like it, you love it, grab it. Absolutely fantastic. Grab it, grab I'm it, grab delighted. it. I'm delighted, I'm made up. Cheshire catting here, sorry. Brilliant. <laughs> Big grins. Now there is a second part to the kit, which I'll move this one out of the way Let and bring this over. one, which is going to be just as amazing. This time we are looking at, love the shape of these. They're stunning. How do you find them to work with? Beautiful to work with, really easy. And although it is uh, quite a feminine, obviously it's, it has the pink toned gemstone. Mm -hmm. For me, that shape makes them suitable for any gender. I would have no hesitation in making a, a men's range with that gemstone shape. The well, pink was originally a gentleman's colour. It was, isn't it? Was it mm. Victorian era? It was Queen Victoria mm -hmm. herself who thought she was having a, a boy, so painted the nursery in pink and then had a girl and kind of went, well, that's it now. I am the ruler of... Well, when you're an empress as well as a queen. Well, there we are. Now it's for the girls. <laughs> there we are. Now, this... is graduated. They are those fantastic squares that you're getting. What's the graduation from and to? £4.95. 
4 mil to 7 mil is the size that you're getting. And on this one, it's a 20 centimetre strand of your gorgeous rose quartz. And of course, as we're going with the donuts as well, we do have a rose quartz donut. I adore this. It's just glorious. This is 120 carats of rose quartz, and it's a 50 mil donut that you're looking at. Can you imagine how big that would have been to start with to it achieve? Would have been massive. Yeah, seriously, to, first of all, you're popping a great big hole in the middle, which is bigger than most solitaires are. If you look at rose quartz in a solid sterling silver ring or in a gold ring, you, you do see rose quartz in gold. Yep. You will often see the, that size, that, which has become the hole, as a solitaire. So I in terms really of wastage... It. Wastage-wise, mm. you're going to have lost quite a lot of that gemstone. The cobbing on its own, to get it down to that, would have been substantial. It's incredible, isn't it? The thing for me is, with how quartz grows, mm -hmm. how big was the shard of quartz? Oh, would have been a, a, a chucker, a chucker monkey. It would have been, it would have been amazing. <laughs> um, so you are getting that in your rose quartz. And then on top of that, you're not just getting your rose quartz, you're getting clear quartz as well. Often known as um, clear crystal, sometimes it's called that, or s stone quartz, rock quartz. Rock. Rock, rock crystal. crystal there yeah. we are. <laughs> rock, stone quartz, rock, rock crystal. Half a person each, we got there eventually. We did, <laughs> we did. Um, so this is really lovely to see with the clarity that mm. you're getting. Because often when you get your rock crystal, stone quartzy, the clear quartzy doobie doobie wops it. That's the one. Um, you do get them quite clouded and quite included. That is glacial. So what was the sizes to this one? Six by five up to 12 to nine on the size, it's graduated and it is a total of how many centimeters in length? 30 centimeters this particular strand is. And the donut that goes along with this one is how light. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. 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 <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It is stunning. And sturdy. And sturdy. I've just dropped it, by the way. <laughs> and very durable. Very <laughs> durable. It's a beautiful gemstone. It's one of those ones which, because it has that interesting matrix, you can lose yourself in. Yeah, I'm just, that's what I've, I've done, full stop, <laughs> the end. Um, on top of that as well, you are also getting three spools of wire in this instance as well. Rose gold coloured round copper wire. You're getting it in 0 0.4, you're getting 50 metres in the 0 0.4. You are then getting it in your 0 0.6, 10 metres of that. And you're getting four metres of your one mil. So a bit different on the sizes of the actual mm -hmm. gauges to this particular one. Um, and you're getting all of it for under £20. That is amazing. I wasn't sure if that was going to be a price match to the other yep. colourway. That's fantastic. Yep. I'm genuinely made up. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. Really, seriously brilliant. Because when you think about it, we had yesterday one of the Tiger's Eye Donuts on, and I think it was on its own. Mm-hmm. Oh, was it £7.95 on its own? Do you know what? I've slept since then. I can't remember. So you've <laughs> got two donuts, which would be around 40 15 about £16 on their own for the donuts, potentially. Mm. Then you've got two strands on top of that and three spools of wire for a couple of pounds extra. Amazing. It is seriously, seriously amazing. And I love it when you get a spool of 50 metres of the finer weaving wire because it gives you the opportunity to really go to town. Yeah. You can do yeah. all those gorgeous floral designs where you're doing a back and forth. If you want to add petals, you can really just, just go for it. And as you always use a lot anyway, don't you, of the, um, the wrapping or the, the working wire. The weaving wire. The weaving working. Indeed. The busy wire. Whereas it this one's like lazy wires. <laughs> they just sit there, don't they? So what will you be demoing for us today? Well, I thought we could have a look at the way which I've chosen to capture the donuts, And they yeah? all follow a reasonable, uh, tenuous link. I so, wish we'd have done this yesterday. Now after what? 
we're having to do the, the wire wrapping of the donut <laughs> yesterday. That's always the way though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Never mind. Never mind. So if we have a, a quick look at the, the Howlite one uh, with the rose gold colourway. Sorry. You almost made it. I know. Sorry. Ben did try to, to nip out there in a second. Oh, Thank you, darling. Can you just uh, realign the, the shot for us? Oh, It is tilted. Right. There we are. It's helpful, but all we can do is tilt her. It's useful. Useless. <laughs> useless. It's kind of going. <laughs> That's a technical camera person term. <laughs> yes. Um, so what will you be going for if we had... Oh, you've got your hair light out, so there's no point in me asking that question. You're going to go straight for the hair light, aren't you? I feel the need to work with the hair okay. light. Okay. And um, what I've done for the sake of the demonstration That's is... amazing. Sorry. Knock yourself out. Isn't it pretty? That was amazing. It's totally different. Massively. I mean, every piece of how light that you see will be different anyway, but compared to the piece that I've worked with and compared to, and compared to your this studio one. sample, let me just uh, bring that one up. Just an idea. Oh, we can't. Hold on. How do we do this? <laughs> Hold on. We can manage. Yeah, we can. We can, we can do it. We can do this. <laughs> on camera four. Would that we, be better? Okay, right, let's do this. This, this <laughs> way, we're doing the above one. <laughs> Here we go. So these are three samples. There we are, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> of the different how lights that we have had. And this is the same kit. Yes. It's just that how light is so varied in its in its formations. So the nice thing is, we've taken it down to under £20, so if you did want to actually get more than one of these, you're more than welcome to. I would be inclined to perhaps multi-buy. Knowing me, I'd want to keep them all anyway. You would. But if you open them up and you have a look, and there's one that really captures your heart, then you, you do have the option to return the other, the other kit. Yeah. As long as they that. all go back with the relevant component parts, it's all good. Could you also show us that little... Little rosy rose. Yeah. yeah. Can do. Let's do it. Can do. Let's do it, let's do Righty it. Hey. Right, so you've chosen Howlite. So I'll pop him out of the way for just a second. Now what I've been busily doing, and hopefully it hasn't been too distracting, is just weaving some of the wire together. I will show you this. It's a very basic weave. I have mixed a metals and I've used we one have. millimetre gauge in the gold colour. And then I've used 0.4 millimetre gauge in the rose gold colour because I like how they look. And they both look beautiful over the surface of that howlite. Let me just come down a little bit. There we go. So I've mixed up the two kits, mm. but obviously you get both of those gauges in both of the colourways for this kit hour. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you how to achieve, this is a very basic weave, and it's one of the first ones that I kind of taught myself. And it's like a 4-2. So what we will do is weave four times with our fine wire around one strand of the heavy wire. Yep. As I have done here, if you imagine that I've just wrapped four times in there. And what I'm now going to do is wrap twice around both of those. So one, pull that nice and firm, but you'll see that there's a little tram line between them, a little bit of daylight. I'm not squeezing them together. A second time around both of those drawn that tail all the way back down and then I will go four times around the this lower wire again. So there are so many variations you can perhaps go uh, four around the bottom one, twice around both and then four around the top one which looks really nice but just have a play with your scrap bits of wire you can see that it just repeats I just tend to squeeze them together with my nails your alternative yeah. is to use a pair of pliers to push those up to get that tension when you come to the end, what I'm going to do is just finish this off, separate the wires out for a second, and wrap four times around. One, two, three, and four. You can see that's gone a bit loose. We're just going to trim that tail off because it's easier, and then squeeze that all up together, chase the tail away. Now, once you are happy with all of your tension, so you've got your, your two wraps are all nice and neatly together. So what I tend really to important do... important when it comes to the weaving? When I'm doing a weave like this, what I tend to do is wrap my four little wraps around the single wire, 
shunt it up together, yep. do the two around both, give that a, a shunt up again, and then just every couple of movements, do that very same thing, and then you'll get a much more uniform effect. What okay. can happen when you're learning, or if you don't take the time to do that, is it can kind of bag in places. Okay. If you've done a great big long stretch of it, and you find uh, you go back to an area, and there's a bit which is you're not 100% happy with, you might not be able to do anything about it, but what you can do is put that at the back of the design. So don't feel that you must okay. kind of throw things away if it hasn't gone 100% to plan. There's always an option to yeah. stick a flower on it, put a coil on top of it, you know, don't worry about it overly much. But for the sake of keeping it all nice and neat, then that's what we will do. I've got a message for you as well, which okay. I'm going to have to reach over and grab my glasses for. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless you. Oh, Gem, how neat is your weaving? Perfect. Just, <laughs> just like that. you. <laughs> You've made a shine now. Thank you. Thank You've you made so a much, shine. That's You're lovely. an absolute Thank love. You. Thank you. You're blushing. I am blushing. I've got all warm. It's because it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So the idea, if you're looking to neaten up your wire work, is just to take your time. Yep. Both of the wires in both of these kits, the one mil wires, are nice and firm. Occasionally you will come across wires which are kind of dedicated as soft or half soft, and they will be a little bit less easy to weave. Okay. This behaves so beautifully for this type of design, so I do encourage you, if you're new to wire work, you want to try the weaving, do grab either of these kits, or preferably both of them, because I love to mix them up if I can. Yep. Um, and you will find that it, it's perfect for this kind of design. But it's not so Brilliant. firm that you can't then bend it around, as I'll show you how to make a little fancy bale as well. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got a little section of woven wire. And once you're happy with all of those little bits and pieces, you're happy it's straight, what I tend to do is just run along it very gently and do the nom 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 move. So just squishing that into position very, very gently, and that's just giving us a really shiny surface because we're almost flattening it just, just a little bit. Don't go too gung-ho over the top of it because okay. you'll, you'll squish it too much, um, and that's not what we want. So I'm just going to take a second to straighten this out. What will happen naturally, you can see there are some little curvatures in here, and also your wire when you're weaving like this tends to twist. So what we're looking to do here before we do anything further is just straighten that all out okay. and give it a little bit of extra strength as we move along. And that length of weaving took about sort of 20 minutes or so. And that again is down to taking the time. So you can see the length there. It really is neat. Just kind of taking the time to make it neat. If you want to achieve that, you know, you're going to invest a little bit of time in it. Yeah. So I'm going to trim away the excess from either end and just leave myself with a tail of probably three, two, two and a half to three inches or so. Always reserve these kind of lengths of wire. They're really great for making display earring hooks, too broad for most people's ear piercings but really great for display work and also for making that effect where we weave around the wire and then pull the wire out to create little castellations. That's something ah. that I'm looking at doing for my next kit on the 20th um, and hopefully I'll be able to show that to you but don't throw your wire away just keep those in a pot or in a bag out of harm's way. I'm just going to trim off the other end in exactly the same way so we've got sort of two and a half to three inches and just pop that out of the way. Now, for the moment, I'm just going to reserve that and put it out to one side mm -hmm. and move on to decorating the donut itself in interesting ways. Now, the reason I've, I've done it in this fashion is just to show you how the metal looks on the surface of the gemstone. So I particularly enjoy working with Howlite like this because you get an almost marble-like effect with the gem mm -hmm. and then you get this super slinky smooth metal and 0.6 millimeter gauge which is common across both of the colorways on tonight's seven o'clock kits uh, is perfect for this job because you can post it through the hole and it doesn't get too angsty a heavier gauge such as a 0.8 or a one mil is much harder to wrangle so i'm just going to pop this out of the way for a second and then we're going to choose a 0.8 a 0.6 i beg my pardon so sorry now you do need to work with a reasonably long length of your 0.6 if you're looking to achieve that kind of effect. So I would probably go for... <laughs> think I'm glad you did it, that side, not this side. I wouldn't dream of it. I can't lift this arm up anyway, so it's all oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so a solar plexus to there is 
probably about three and a bit feet, I would think. Possibly about that, two and a half to three foot, no more than that anyway. And I'm just going to uh, crinkle the end of the wire around the hopper at the top of the reel. And that just keeps it neat and you get minimal wastage. You could, of course, always use your little plastic hoops that come with most of this particular gauge. Uh, but that's a, a quick way just to get it so that it stays on the spool ready for use. Otherwise, it will go sproying and we don't want sproingy wire. No. OK, so we're going to start with a tail of around about three inches and just post that through the hole in the middle and pull it out to one side. And we're just going to ignore that pretty much for the moment. Did I make a mistake then? Because I used a one mil. Um, if you've got uh, something that's really precious, you will want to use a gauge that you know is going to stand the test of time. Yeah, which is what he wanted. Mm. He wanted it to be able to wear it all the time. OK, I mean, there's various options in which you could capture a coin, and one of them would be to prong set in, which you could also rather than using the aperture at the centre of this donut bead, you could just prong set around the outside okay. using a very open method on the back. And then you won't have any interruption to the centre. Which then, sorry, I've lost breath. <laughs> which then leaves you the opportunity to set a gemstone in the middle or, or something else. So you've yeah. got lots of different ways that you can do that. But we'll have a look at prong setting another time, Bab. Right? That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be nice, thank okay. you. So, Two ways in which you can work with the donut bead and the 0.6 mil gauge. I've just found the gold, so that's what we're working with, the gold colourway. You can draw that around the back nice and firmly. And then I'm going to push a section up through that hole in the middle until you get a little bit of a loop coming through. And then draw the tail of the wire through very carefully, trying not to poke anybody in the eye or the face or annoy the cat or whatever. Now at this stage, if we look and refer to the section here, the distances between those wire wraps gives you quite different effects and you can really play to your heart's content but I've shown you quite wide, medium and together and then a little cluster which has been slightly opened out and topped with a little flower. So there's different ways that you can make this appeal um, how you want it to appear basically. But the idea is if I remove this out of shot now the alternative to pushing up through the centre is to take the end through the centre. So take the end of your 0.6mm gauge through. Sorry that... <laughs> I nearly got you. You did nearly get me. <laughs> it was close. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, I think we might prefer the pushing up through the centre rather than the taking the tail through. The key here is to make sure that we're getting tension across this first surface. So I'm going to pop a thumb, that's my non-dominant thumb, over the top whilst I draw the tail through and away from Lara's delicate little face and pull that around. So you can, if you want, just go all the way around like the spokes on a, a 1920s vintage vehicle. If that's what does it for you, or a, a life <laughs> preserver, you can imagine exactly what you want. <laughs> so again, going back to that first technique, we're just pushing a loop through, and 0.6 works so beautifully, and draw that tail over to the far side. It's much less dangerous for your colleagues. So if we go all the way around and just leave a little bit of space now and it's just a case of repeating but with different kind of gaps. So that's kinked slightly but it's easily rescued just to draw that tail through. And if I uh, do some quite close quarters winding just here, all we're doing is wrapping. Now I don't know if when you were a child you used to make pom-poms for bobble hats. Yes I did! Nan had knitted or Mum had knitted. Well, our job was to make the pom-poms, which I was... I love doing that. Two discs of card. Oh, yeah. And then you would wrap the wool in exactly this fashion. So it's like making pom-poms, except yeah. there's no cutting involved later. As many times as you possibly could until you couldn't get it through anyone. <laughs> Snippy ends. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember it well. Yeah, I'm glad it's not just me that was put to work like that. No, it was me as well. So on the back, you're getting a very similar impression of, of what's happening as well. But you do, when you move from one segment to another, it's not quite perfect because we're using this opportunity just here just there, it's slightly broader, but on the front face, it does look absolutely perfect. So on the back, not so perfect. On the front, perfect spacing. So if I just whiz round this a couple of times quite quickly, um, 
and then I will try and come back to where we started and show you how to do that little rose just to finish yep. it off. And then what we can do is very briefly show you just how to wind a bale. You calm down, chicken. It's all good. It's not that I don't trust you, <laughs> but I don't trust you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Only with wire. Only with wire? Yeah. Why is my life, though? This is what I do. Yeah. So we've got... Uh, should we make this one symmetrical? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. So we've got three narrow sections here. We'll go for three slightly wider sections. Push the wire up again I through really that like central that loop. And then we'll draw back up to the top here. And perhaps what we should do is replicate the three slightly narrower sections on that side. Yeah. And then we'll be drawing in that spare wire to... Um, let me think. No, I would need to stay on the far side. Apologies. So bring this into position. What would you prefer to see? A third stripe. I think a third stripe. Yep. Yeah. So it is completely symmetrical then. So again, through the centre in exactly the same way. Make sure that you don't cross the wires over. And then at centre point, we've got two tails. Mm -hmm. One coming towards the outside, one coming towards the inside. And what I'm going to do is exactly the same way as we make the rose rings. I'm going to put a right angle. This, this wire that I'm pointing to now is above the longer tail. So that one needs to bend down over the longer tail. The longer tail is beneath. So this one, let me just turn my pliers over so I don't scar the surface of the gem. That comes upwards. And then all we're doing is making little circles. Whoops, so sorry. So we've got them coming in opposite directions, mm -hmm. as I just showed you. And then I think I might do this by hand rather than with pliers. We're looking to take the wire that's at the bottom around and underneath the top wire. But to make it nice and flat to the gemstone, what we need to do is just squish that down with my thumb. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that past the longer tail and then pull it upwards so it comes out and away. And then I'm going to take the longer tail round so that that passes underneath and comes quarter past. So we're alternating between which wire we're twisting around. Didn't have quite enough tail to generate quite as beautiful a rose as I wanted to, but you will still get that effect. So the rear wire comes down, passes underneath, and then tickles up. Mm -hmm. This is now the rear wire, so that comes underneath pass and you can see how that is creating that rose effect already. Yeah. So if I just trim off, I'll show you how to tuck one of those away but, and it will be the same technique for both sides and it's just a case of taking that tail and posting it underneath the rose design like so and just hide that away into the design. Give it a squeeze. She said willing it to do what she wanted it to do. There we go. And then you do exactly the same with the other piece. That's really pretty. And you'll end up with a slightly neater, less rushed rose. <laughs> yeah, that's really lovely. OK, so to add a simple bale generated with that lovely long length of wire weaving that we did earlier, you can pass that through at any point, draw that up and around, and it really is just as if you were playing with a single stretch, a stretch of wire. So I've crossed them over. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to turn the shorter end so that it crosses the front, like so. Yeah. Draw the tail around, and that is now a secure loop. OK? So you can do what you need with this. You can turn those into swirls. You can generate a bale here quite easily. Just bring that forwards, use a round form, wrap it around itself, and then you've got yourself a little bale. So if you are concerned in any way about how to set or how to utilise a donut to create a pendant, that's a really easy way to do it. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's it's all right. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thank you for that. Cheers. I like the rose. Do you like the rose? I do. All right then, my darling. I do, I do. <laughs> um, now, what can I squeeze in? Oh. Is there more to come? How about I bring this to you? <gasps> Ooh! Oh, that's lovely. A little bit of emerald. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the old emerald. <laughs> Esmeralda. Esmeralda. These are just juicy, aren't they? Where's the location of this one? Is this Brazilian? It is. Mm. I'm quite surprised at that, actually. 
You can tell it's Brazilian because you've got the darker greens. Normally, Brazilian emerald has got the darker greens coming through quite a lot of the time. But actually, a lot of these are really bright, really vivid. I would have put them down as Colombian. There is that element of vivacity that you expect from a Colombian emerald in, in some yeah. of those there. It's quite, uh, you know, when you get those strands that are globe trotters. Ooh. So you get a globe trot and there's a bit of Zambian look here. Little bit of this there's a little, little yeah. bit of that, little bit of this. This is the jet set strand. <laughs> That's what it is, the jet set strand. I really like this strand for that because it's not your average Brazilian emerald. They, they really is. And you mentioned in Zambian emerald. If I just bring your attention to this one here, Zambian emerald is known for its slight blue hue. This one here has got a fabulous blue hint to it, doesn't it? So you really do get a lovely quality. It's still Brazilian, but you're getting those blues coming through there. You're getting the, the traditional sort of rich, deep, almost forest greens to your Brazilian. And then you're getting the brighter, more luminous colours that you would expect to see in a Colombian as well. So you are really getting a beautiful selection of tones. That's fab. It is. I know we bring you emerald strands from various different locations, but to have that variety in one locational strand... Oh, I like that a lot. It is really vibrant as well. Often when you get emeralds, they can be slightly muted. Yes, they can be a little bit quiet, but these are, are vivacious, aren't they? They stand proud. Now, if you think about the kind of price points we've seen emeralds go for before, how much would you think this would be? Because it is really quite vivid. It's got a great selection of colours. So you kind of expect to pay a premium for something like this, wouldn't you? You do, yes. Not £5.95. <laughs> See, I, I kind of had a... Well, maybe they'll think about it at £20 and then make it £12 kind of in my head. And I thought, well, I'm not going to say anything in case I embarrass myself. But that's genuinely... That's giving me a headache. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. But it's Emerald! <laughs> it's Emerald, Becky! <sighs> £5.95. <laughs> Again, taste the strand if it's your first emerald. Can I just point out, that was not the price point that I was told it was going to go to. £5.95! You sound a tad affronted. It's, it kind of almost degrades the strand. <laughs> Don't you think it's wonderful, though, to be able to make one of the big five gemstones, one of the most widely recognised gemstones available in this way. No, it is amazing that we can do that. It really is. But it's £5.95. <laughs> you know how you said yesterday that when you, you underprice something and people go, what's wrong with it? Mm. Yeah. Authenticity certificate, maybe? Yeah, you need it. <laughs> 25 pence for the authenticity certificate. <laughs> you can't even get a pizza for that. Don't think you can, can you? Even the small pizzas cost like six ninety five or mm. thereabouts, or well, at some of the places around where we are, it's like eight pounds for a small pizza. What? <sighs> what? I'd rather have emeralds. I tell you what, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have to diet so much if I spent my money on, on emeralds at £5.95 in comparison to a pizza, in fairness. There we are. <laughs> I love pizza, though, but it's just... and the, the, oh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ooh. We are now looking at, I can't believe you did that, that's ridiculous, <laughs> 40 carats of graduated faceted <laughs> rondels. <laughs> it is the happiest gemstone known. Happy, 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 because the colour is amazing. Sunshine. It is sunshine in a strand, isn't it? Sunshine in a strand. Something we're not seeing much of these days. 
do you know, it was quite bright earlier, but I stepped out the back door and very quickly stepped back in again. <laughs> it was off. It was horrible when I went out. Girls. <laughs> bright but girls. Um, I drove home in the snow last night. Did you? Was it really coming it down? It was snowing. It was oh ridiculous. I, I actually had to go. Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to get back home in time. Seriously? I did manage to get home. I was only slightly late getting back, but... It was one of those moments where I kind of thought, ooh. <laughs> At least you've got a long-handled scrubbing thing for your garden I know, thank screen. you very much for that. <laughs> what I really needed was one of these, though. Mm. A strand of sunshine to melt that snow. Um, check out the price point as well. £6.95. Gosh, that's a lovely strand. A really long strand as well. Is it? How long is it? Uh, 30 centimetres. It's longer than 30 centimetres. Let me just measure it. That's not a foot, it's a strand. <laughs> I know what you mean. You know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Um, I, mine's actually measuring 32, but we're going to say 30 for argument's sake. Mm -hmm. um, if you get extra, amazing. If you get extra, bonus. It's lovely citrus sunlight. It is. It's beautiful. Hold those lines, because I'm going to bring you another one, which I think you're going to love. Can I just point out the limited quantity on this one? Because I went, oh, this one's really pretty. How many do we have? Thinking we might have lots. Uh, we've got less than 10. So quantity-wise, not mm. so much. Not so much on the quantity-wise, unfortunately. But aren't they brilliant? They're lovely. I was going to ask you if it was coffee agate, actually. But Gabagino. we've upgraded. We've got slightly a more frothy cappuccino. Yeah, slightly more froth. What a beautiful shape as well. They're sort of elegantly chamfered to the side. I would say every single one of these would make a perfect pendant. Oh, every day of the week. And mix it up with your different metal colours. It's going to look amazing with gold, rose gold, antique bronze. It's going to really pop with silver. Add in some Swarovski sparkle to counterpoint the, the very naturalness of this. This again, it's quite earthy, isn't it? I'm loving that effect. A bit like a skull there. It does actually, it does. <laughs> £8.95. If you turned one of, just one of these, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight on the strand. Mm -hmm. If you turn just one of these into a pendant, how much would you be charging for a pendant? Mm -hmm. Wire wrap it. Very simple wire wrap yeah, yeah. with an agate of that size, 20 to £25 pounds at the, the, the middle kind of section. Use one, you got the strand price back, haven't you? Oh, if you use one, then, you know, you can actually go out and afford to buy yourself a cappuccino because you, <laughs> you, you would have bought the strand and the wire and a cup of coffee and still have the rest of the strand left. Treat yourself to a cappuccino. There we are. <laughs> there we are. They are fabulous, though. It's actually, it's got one of those, those colours and those shapes that actually could be really masculine as well as feminine. Totally agree. Now, I would want to use a, a faux leather or a faux suede and macrame, a very comfortable bracelet for the back of the wrist, and then have that on the front of the wrist. I would definitely use that for my gents' range. Nice. Really, really nice. But you again, I, I would wear it with mixed metals. Yeah, that'd work nicely. Um, ooh, ooh. I like it when she ooze. <gasps> ooh. Oh. It's contagious. It is contagious. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. The shapes of these are fabulous. Do you know what, when I coveted that strand yesterday? Oh, you're not going to do the same again, are I you? I might mm -hmm. slightly yeah. cover one end of this. Just one end. Which end? What's this one particular oh, gemstone I right love here. Love it. One hundred and ninety carats of lapis lazuli graduated faceted medium nuggets, thirteen by eleven to twenty-seven by sixteen millimeters. It's twenty-three centimeter strand. It is gorgeous. And it is, of course, your Afghanistan lapis lazuli as well. So I just want to double check because normally it's not dyed. Is it dyed? Natural. I was looking at that and thinking, for me, it has the idyllic colour, but it also has those hints of calcite and the sparkle of the pyrite within, which is what, for me, makes it such a special strand. That's what I really like, the lapis lazuli. It, you do get calcite elements coming through. So the grey is the calcite that you can see. And quite often, if you go into your, your average 
gemstone shops or your mm -hmm. uh, crystal stores, you will find lapis lazuli that has been dyed because a lot of people just expect it to be this uniform blue. Mm. You get the calcite coming through and it's actually really beautiful to have that calcite in every single one of them. Now that's a strand with tassels, I don't understand that. £8.95. I would set those... Everyone is a, is a solitaire ring. Everyone could be that feature in your wirework bangle. Everyone would make the most perfect pendant. Brooches, everything. This one for me. You, you're you going for this one, I'm going for this one. You're on. Becky, can we cut the strand? <laughs> can, I, can I just snip this strand, please? Look at this as a ring. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the facet work again. Oh, I love it. Just really elevates the, the beauty of the gemstone rough. It's perfectly done. Ben, what do you think of this? <laughs> I think we need to snip it. I think, I think we need to. I'm just putting those snippers on the table. Just in case. Just in case. They are fabulous though, and every single one is slightly different. So mm. like you were saying, pendants. I mean, this one would look beautiful as oh, a pendant. It's perfect. In fact, having a tassel hanging from it, I quite like the shape of that for the tassel. That does work really well. Yeah. Invert yeah, it, it and you've got the classic drop pendant shape. That yes, way up, it's yeah. almost like a, a, a goddess head. I really like that one. This is it. Every single one has got a completely different shape to it. And it will lend itself, it's, again, down to your imagination. What you would like to do with it is entirely up to you. Please do send some pictures into the Wall of Fame. We would love to see your oh, creations. Yes. And particularly with this strand because I'm loving it. Absolutely gorgeous. It's brilliant. £8.95. Grab it. Grab it while you can. Grab it while you can. <laughs> now, can I squeeze another one in? Or... Yes, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> so we're going to go Ooh. for a matching duo right now. So we are looking at the, I was going to say pear shape. It's not pear shape. What is it? It's oval. <laughs> oval shape. They are absolutely gorgeous. Hugely plentiful. Oh, yes. 260 carats plentiful. Now, Becky's just said she's going to do something outrageous. I've seen what she's done to the emeralds. That's amazing. It's such a huge strand. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. So we've done emeralds at naughty prices. Mm -hmm. We've done lapis lazuli. It is beautiful. Now I will let you know this one has been dyed. Mm -hmm. So you are getting more of those rich colours coming through. So if you do want to have more of a uniformity to the blue, this would be the one you go for. And it's not just any um, dye that we go for. We make sure we choose a really high quality. We make sure it's beautiful through and through. Look amazing with white pearls as Ooh. well. It really enhances the nature of the gemstone. You pop it with something that just kind of... You almost get that azure sea with the foam on top when you add your pearls and it, it's quite aquatic. That's really lovely. That's really, yeah, really, really lovely. I'm also thinking about the night sky because that's one thing that always springs to mind when you think about it, but oh, yes. Gorgeous. £4.95. Now, do not go anywhere because we've got more amazing treats coming up, including the winner of the prize, which will be later on, but we, we'll, we'll give you a little bit more of a recap over that competition right after this. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. If you'd like more information on up-and-coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website.
Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30-day money-back guarantee. Order from us today at www.jewelrymaker.com So when you think of emerald, what location do you think of? When you think of like the fine quality emeralds, there were three locations you think of, but ultimately the main one for me has always been Col Colombian. Colombian emerald. Because it has that vivacity that word's been mentioned several times tonight, but it does have that vivacity. It has that intensity. It has that, that inner glow. It's got that inner magic, hasn't it? It's just amazing. I can't think of a better word than vivacity, if I'm honest. Yeah. The thing with an emerald is it's... I mean, think about chrome dioxide. Think about ruby. It's also coloured by chrome. chrome it, chromium is... Uh, I would say one of the most important elements when it comes to colour, particularly in an emerald. If you've got that chromium in there, you've got the most amazing in inclusion, because that's what it is, it's, it's classed as an impurity. It's an in I don't know why they call it an impurity, but it's classed as an impurity. It's an inclusion that... I want to say dances with light because what it does is it really brings about the most amazing inner glow. When you get this out in daylight, just like with a ruby, 
you get it out in daylight and it just I want to say effervesces, it's not the right term, but you know when it, it gives off the most amazing, incredible, ethereal glow. I actually really like the word effervesce as well. I think that, that really works with this. It, it, it does effervesce mm. and it make, it just, it's, it, there's something about emeralds, and I know not everybody likes the colour green. I never liked the colour green. The thing is, once you fall in love with an emerald, you will always be in love with an emerald. I am now completely and utterly 100% in love with emeralds. And it is down to chrome dioxide. I'm not going to say straight away it was an emerald that made me fall in love with an emerald. It was a chrome dioxide that made me fall in love with an emerald. But when you get something like a Colombian emerald, you get everything you could possibly want. You get the depth of colour, you get the um, vivacity of the colour, you get that incredible inner glow, you get everything an emerald should be. It is magical. Seriously magical. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous strand. There are 13, that's it, unfortunately. When you think about Colombian emeralds, of course, we're not going to be able to bring you masses and masses and masses of them. It's not an emerald that we can, especially when you've got this kind of quality that you're looking at here. It is a standout, standalone, gorgeous gemstone. And you don't have to use a lot of it. Graduation-wise, it's 2 by one right up to 5 by 3 It's a 24-centimetre strand, so you're getting a really substantial amount of this as well. Which, to be fair, I'm ridiculously surprised that we've got a 24-centimetre strand when we're talking about Colombian emeralds. 14-centimetre strand I would have been happy with. I actually did question if this was the right strand down to the length. Because when I was told I was going to have a Colombian emerald strand, I thought it's going to be small. 40, 16 centimetres maximum. Now you're getting 24 carats right here. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I've just said the 24 carats has been the centimetre, so I'm going to measure it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually 26 centimetres in length, not 24, 26 centimetres in length, so even longer. This price point like you're looking at on the screen right now, £109.95, is phenomenal for the gemstone that you're getting. It really is. We're not stopping there though. Now, this is one of those that if you have got a strand buddy, go halves. It's, how long did I just say that was? 26 centimetres? Yours so? measured at 26. 26, mm -hmm. that's this one that I've got here. So it's 24 carats, 26 centimetres. So we are going to argue 24 centimetres. Even that is 12 centimetres each, which is brilliant. We're dropping that price point as well to £72.95. That is a whole lot of emerald that you're getting for that price. A whole lot of emerald. I'm actually extremely, extremely pleased about this. Colombian emerald. Massive size strand. It is brilliant. There is a lot of you with this in baskets. There are only 11 of these available. That is it. If you want to grab it, you need to get it. The first one has gone to Louise in Hampshire. Huge congratulations, my lovely. Seriously, huge congratulations on that. Um, don't forget as well, you do have that 30-day money-back guarantee. If you see an item that you think, I really want to get that, but I'm not sure... Of course, that's going to be a considered price point to a lot of us. I don't have that kind of money to just throw around, so I understand exactly. You've got that 30-day money-back guarantee. Get it home if you do not love it for any reason. Any reason at all. Maybe the green's not the right shade for you. Maybe you don't like the tassels at the end. Whatever the reason is, it doesn't matter. You send it back, you get a full refund. 
Just make sure it's in the original condition, in its packaging, and you can get that refund. It is, it is just, oh, oh, sorry, I do get a little bit excited <laughs> about emeralds. Now, there is actually more in baskets now than we have got available. There's Yorkshire there, Lanarkshire is there as well. Stirlingshire, where's Stirlingshire? That's Scotland. That's I Scot think. Oh, I think. Scotland. I hope so, now I've said it. Well, if, if you're wrong, you're wrong. You can only be wrong once, can't you? <laughs> there we are. Uh, five chances left. What would you do if I gave you the strand? I would section it out so that I would have uh, little hoopy earrings using the shallow end of the strand, both sides, symmetrically. Yep. Probably about seven gemstones on each side. And then I would use another inch or so either side to create a bracelet. And then the remainder would be the centre focal piece of a necklace with that very one in the middle becoming a solitaire ring. And Brilliant. I'd have a full suite of jewellery out of that one strand. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm totally with you on the uh, strand buddy front. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's long enough to do that. Sometimes there are strands that we say do that with and they are considered, but they're not necessarily a large strand. But you're getting a lot on this particular strand. Now, my maths isn't the best, but I'm looking at that being just over three pounds a carat, something very similar to that. Becky, <laughs> have Sorry. you got your calculator at hand? Can you bit boop boop? Because I think that's... Could you tippy tippy tappy and find out how much it is? 72.95, is it per carat you want to know or per... I want to know per carat, that per for me carat. Is, is quite a thing. Per carat, what is that? It's got to be three pounds and some three shrapnel, pound, I think. Three pounds, three pence. Three oh three. Three pounds, three pence a carat. for a Colombian emerald is just outstanding. I would very much be enjoying that. I was looking at, because I, I asked if you wanted to come and join me, mm -hmm. so trade fair. Um, trade fair, and there was an emerald. So I didn't manage to get to the trade fair, unfortunately, um, but when I was looking at the suppliers, I was looking at the different websites of the different suppliers to see what kind of things they had. And there was one supplier that dealt with Colombian, Brazilian, and Zambian emeralds, and they sold it per carat, price per carat. And their description on their website was, we, we deal with um, emeralds of various um, qualities, starting with, sort of, I think the lowest was $100 a carat. Mm -hmm up to a couple of thousand dollars a carat. I think in that particular price range, it was $100 a carat up to $1,000 a carat. No, $100 to $500 per carat was the lower grade. And then it was um, something like $500 to $1,000 a carat for the mid-range. It, it carried on like that. So the finer quality you got, yeah. the more expensive. But we were still looking at minimum $100 a carat. Yes, exactly, which is why I'm always interested to see when you look at the quality on the screen, just spinning around in the light box there, I'm seeing something that I like very much. And in terms of three pounds and threepence... A carrot. A carrot, I think that's outstanding. I, I personally think that's outstanding. And you do have those, the secondary vivacity. Yeah. Just glowing. Yeah. Beautiful. It's, it, is, it is absolutely amazing. Talk, I mean, talking about the carrot, um, selling it per carrot, it didn't actually describe whether that was um, gemstones that were faceted, whether it was rough gemstones, what, but it's still $100 a carat. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I can't say this one would resell at that. You'd have to get it appraised, wouldn't you? That would probably be the smart thing to do. Yeah. And Once you've again, made your jewellery, get it appraised. That 25 pence for an authenticity certificate on, on this particular strand, I think, would be 25 pence very well spent. Yeah. In my opinion. I've managed to get a hold of the authenticity the certificates for Ruby and for the London Blue Topaz. It was well worth it. Well worth it. Now, what shall I bring to you next? Oh, yes, of course. I forgot about that. Sorry, I did promise I was going to recap the competition. It is tempting treats um, today. And I have got a whole jar of slightly hidden, so you can't see the exact amount. You've got to guess. So we have got a whole jar of sweets in here that have been lovingly counted by Becky and myself, there is, I was going to say how many then? Barry nearly told you how many there were in that. The, the <laughs> competition that we have for you is for you to guess how many there are in this particular jar. It's not as low as 40 
and it's not as high as 490. That I can give you as a clue. Um, when you send it in, send your messages in to 60777. Make sure you start your message with JM Studio, then the answer, so whatever number you think it would be, and that needs to then be followed by your name and your um, customer number as well so we can actually get back in touch with you once you are if you are the winner um, so not as low as 40 not as high as 490 shall we lower that number a little bit shall we say it's not as low as 40 and it's not as high as 300 that's fair that's good parameters I think yeah that's fair that gives you a bit more of a scope a bit more of a scope um, we've had one correct answer so far. One correct answer so far. Now, what's next, my lovely? Ooh! You're going to love this. You are going to love this. Guess what it is? Don't look at the screen! Oh, goodness me. I was trying to look at the... the I, I, there's a bust in the way. That's why I wanted you to guess. Oh, I see. I've had. Oh, I've ruined it now. She has. Oh, man. It's all right. I forgive you. Check it out. Dun da da da. Labrador. Oh, look at that magic happening. Less than 10 of these available. It's 170 carats of your cabs. Now, I can't guarantee how many cabs you're going to get. What I can guarantee is the carat weight. You are definitely going to get 170 carats. If you have bigger cabs, it means you'll have less of them. If you have smaller cabs, it means you'll have more of them. Um, in this particular pack, two, four, six, seven is what I've got. It's, always, it's a nice idea to multiply on these ones. Choose the pack that you prefer and then you can always send the other one back if you don't want to. But in fairness, if I multi-bought, I will be keeping both. It happens with Labradorite. You just, it kind of comes into your home and then it stays. Finds somewhere to look. Yeah, <laughs> it, it stays. Labradorite, it, it's... You know that, that guest that you had invited over like a few, few years ago and then realised they're still there? You never realise, but yeah, that, that's what Labradorite does. It tends to just arrive and never leave. With all good intentions, it's supposed to go to somebody else, but no. I do mean that in the nicest possible way. I've got Labradorite in my collection that I did buy for other people, and it never quite made it past. No. Mm. I don't think I've ever actually been able to give the gift of Labradorite. You know I love you if I give you the gift of Labradorite. <laughs> Becky says, is that what you're getting me for my birthday? Maybe not. Uh, £12.95 though, so if you did want to be lovely and gift this to somebody, if you're able to gift it, if you're physically able to part it, Turn it into a ring. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And that is the essence of Labradorite right there, the peacock, where you have that blue-green essence in one stone. And it comes together with sort of golden essences to it as well. I could actually talk about Labradorite forever. Please don't try to drive. We've already mentioned this. <laughs> but I think this is a, this is a prime example if you are looking at the screen when you see this, and whatever you were doing originally, you're now staring at the screen, that's what's going to happen when you're driving. Uh, I challenge you to look away. They are amazing though, aren't they? Oh, every single one of them. Every, oh, sorry, this one's just caught the light now. Bigger size. Oh, fantastic. Sunset. Oh. You know when you're watching something like, oh, I don't know, Indiana Jones, Temple of whatever, or any of the 
Indiana Jones, you know, going to dig things out. Or Lara Croft. Or Lara an Croft. An alternative, yeah. Alternatively, or anybody else <laughs> who goes to find things. This is kind of, you know, the moment when they uncover a, a tomb or a, a crypt or whatever it is they've gone to, and then the light shines and all of a sudden the gemstones and all the jewels. That's what, that's the effect you're getting in this. It is, it's Aww. like you've discovered something of magical, ancient power. Oh, <laughs> this is what you've been looking for. Oh, and they're standing there looking at it. So this is the pack that you can buy and pop on your craft table to attract people over to have a conversation, have a look, possibly buy something or maybe remember you for the future if they want a commission. It's fascinating, endlessly beautiful. I love it. <laughs> love it. Absolutely adore it. I oh, was talking about pearls earlier as well, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Pearls. Peacock pearls in particular. How about I bring to you some black pearls instead? We had the gorgeous light peacock pearls. Oh, the mystical ones. Yes. yes. Add that with this. Oh, that's just luxury. Now, they're called black freshwater cultured pearls, but you often find that black is not black. Black is actually a dark purple, or it's a dark blue, or in some instances, it's a dark green. I mean, if you look at a raven, if, you, if the feathers catch the light, it's a slight dark green, isn't it, that you get with a raven? Yes. Yeah, you get that sort of sideways colour yeah. tone on the feather blade. It's like a polar bear. Obviously, polar bears are white. They're not. The, the skin, apparently, is black. Ah. Oh. But their fur is translucent. And it's just reflecting the environment. And it reflects the, the light, yeah. Okay. That's fascinating. Mm? That's fascinating. Mm. It's unusual, isn't it, when you think? Because if you look at the snout, you can actually see the colour of the, the skin underneath. Do you know, I just think they're adorable, but I don't think they'd find me adorable. I think they'd try to eat me. Yeah, they would. <laughs> they would. They'd try and eat anybody. That's the thing. They're so beautiful, but they are very much hungry. Very much hungry. They are gorgeous, though, the colours that you get in this, because you are getting those gorgeous blues, you're getting those brilliant deep greens in there as well. Aren't they, aren't they just stunning? They are beautiful. It's almost like a, a midnighty tone. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a royal or a naval blue that you're getting in this yeah. one. How fabulous are these? How fabulous is the price? Eight pounds ninety-five. That's tiny. <laughs> Considering the strand you're getting and the amount that you're getting on that strand. And they're a luxury size as well, aren't they? Oh, Ten yeah. by nine is, is huge. Yeah, huge. Would you turn them into studs then? Oh, I would. They'd be beautiful studs. But then I would also want them on a length of delicate silver chain, just a single one with a head pin at the bottom. Nice. Banging from the ear. It's very, very effective when you've got that beautiful tone. Yeah, it's like an evening wear, isn't it, when you've got that depth of colour? That's something you'd... you'd like going out for a meal. Imagine oh. going on a cruise. Oh! Yeah. I've never been on a cruise, so I'll I've just have to imagine it. i cruise. But I get seasick on the Isle of Wight ferry, so it'd have to oh, be a river cruise. Oh, I got seasick crossing the Nile. <laughs> I love the fact. Yeah, no. Not just seasick anywhere, but crossing the Nile. Yeah. <laughs> but you were there in Egypt crossing the Nile. It was great. <laughs> I need to travel more. <laughs> I do. I need to travel more. Anybody fancies taking me on holiday? Let me know. Oh, Becky and, and Kerry are going to take me on holiday. And you're going to put me in your pocket? Yeah. Oh, are you not agreeing with this? We're not taking you, but you can come with us. Oh. We're taking you implies that we're going to pay for you. <laughs> no, I don't want you to pay for me. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't want you to pay for me. It's just the action of actually allowing me to tag along is kind of taking me with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're totally welcome. I'm Gaia. Holiday. <laughs> Holiday. Jen's going to pop me in a pocket as well. There we are. Sorted. The mime was quite 
It was. It, it was, was a bit brilliant odd. mime. It was. A... <laughs> At least I think that's what it meant. Yeah. It I... might be that she's going to create a wormhole and push me into it, so I, I vanish and never appear again. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to go for more pearls. While Gem creates the wormhole. <laughs> Are you saying I've got a big gravitational pull? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a black hole, though? <laughs> uh, well, some might argue they start and end at the same place. <laughs> yes, then, a, a big gravitational pull. <laughs> <laughs> Silver pearls this time. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Gorgeous, silver, freshwater, cultured pearls. They're top drilled as well. See, now that is now vying for my favourite colour pearl position. That's really beautiful. I mean, it I is. love metallics. Oh, look! Sorry, they I went slightly stunning. dog annoyingly high there. Sorry. Apologies to anyone who is an owner of a one dog or more who are now running around, it, probably in pain. In front of the TV. Apologies for that. Was it that high? I didn't think it was that high. Apologies if it has upset your, your pooch, though. Or poochies. No, they are. They are an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning colour. Uh, this was the colour of the bridesmaids' dresses that I had. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is a stunning, elegant, sophisticated colour. That will go with so many different things. You're absolutely right. And just sort of likening it for bridal work... That's beautiful. Pink goes really nicely with it. You wouldn't expect it, but pink goes really nicely with silver. Really love it. Taking it down to £8.95. That is, add it to your order. And that's add a stack it to your order. strand, isn't it? It is. It's crammed on. They're all top drilled as well. What, how, I've not worked with top drilled pearls. Mm -hmm. So how different is it to work with a top drilled pearl than a centre drilled pearl? You will find that they sit differently dependent on how you strand them. Okay. So what I tend to do is put quite a, a great deal of tension into the strand if I'm using the top drilled ones. And then they will naturally kind of one goes up, one goes down. Okay. Which on the wrist is really attractive. It can be a little bit more tricky on the neckline because gravity is fighting you. Uh, but they do make exceptional earrings as well. They make exceptional charms and pendants. You're kind of seeing that one up, one down. Yes. Yeah, exactly. The way it's tessellating. And that's because there's so many on the strand, there's tension kind of holding that together. And if you apply that to your makes as well, yeah. so if you're using a natural material like silk, you will need to pre-stretch it to make sure that it doesn't lose that tension. Uh, or just use a beading thread instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. It's actually, you know, you saying about your bridesmaids, I, my dress had two colour layers and the underlayer was a, that sort of silver. Ah. They are gorgeous. Really well done. Now, it is, believe it or not, time for today's must-have. And it is an absolute must-have. Do not forget as well, we are very, 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 very close. I want to say very close to the end of the show. It's an hour and a half left until the end of the show. And we are still running the competition. The competition is to guess how many sweets there are in this jar. If you know the answer or you think you know the answer, send your message through to 60777. Make sure you start the message with JM Studio. The answer, your name, and do not forget, you must have your customer number on there as well, otherwise we have no way of contacting you. So please do not forget that. Now, it is must-have time. I have some little tweets for you. I had to steal that one from you, I'm sorry. <laughs> little tweets. Beautiful little tweets. So, birdcage. Here we are. Little birdcage charms is what I have in store for you right now. They are silver with your rose gold plating. And they are so tweet. They are so tweet. 
Now, Jen was mentioning earlier on, I mean, we're going along with the bridal theme again, mm -hmm. but you were mentioning earlier on about the fact that uh, wedding-wise, the birdcage is quite a big thing at the moment as well. Yes, it's certainly taken on a lot of steam in the, uh, the last couple of years or so to have a, a faux birdcage at the centre of the tables, which are decorated sometimes with flowers, sometimes with fruits. Um, I've really seen them with candles inside. Indeed, so you have yeah. um, a candle stand with, with little tea lights on that go round. Perfect. So you could yeah. have these little charms as your gifts as well to kind of reflect and carry on that theme. Pop them on the, the name settings. Definitely. If you uh, grab one of the packs of lobster clasps or bolt ring clasps yes. as well, uh, then you can kind of get, get that on that and uh, somebody can then take it and just add it onto their existing charm jewellery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They are lovely as well if you wanted to just turn them into a pendant or earrings. The look of them is really effective. You've got the two gorgeous little birds. You've got that wonderful, I want to say gilded cage. It's not gilded, but it's, it's got that kind of feel of whenever you see a, a bird cage. It's the old style gilded cages. Yeah, it kind of is, yeah. I yeah. like that. Super shiny, super reflective. And again, as we were talking about earlier, having that uh, core of sterling silver with the precious metal over the top of it, you do get that real beautiful shine. I'm bringing in the silver pearls in for a moment because I really like the idea of combining, uh, going along with, again, the wedding sort of theme, mm -hmm. really like the idea of combining the, the silver pearls. Yes. Stretchy pearls. And I know I kind of don't want to say stretchy for pearls, but stretchy <laughs> pearls. Um, and then one of these on there as well. That would be really lovely, wouldn't it? Could you turn it into a ring? Yes, you could because you've got the, the kind of the open sides uh, where the effect of the cage is. You could very easily wire into that and then you have the option to either take the loop off or add a little charm bead, a little three millimetre yeah. Swarovski or a uh, gemstone of your choice, little head pin through the loop so you've got a mobile element to the top of the ring. Or you can just trim it off and file it down. Up to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm also thinking with this, you could potentially resin. I don't see why not, as long as it's um, completely flat and you're using a surface which is receptive and obviously then won't stick to your resin. Mm. I don't know enough about resin to be able to give you the good advice on that one. But again, going back to the nail varnish technique as well. Yes, yeah, nail varnish definitely would work with that. Um, the other thing is as well, you, you've still got the opportunity of using things like Serilyn mm -hmm. or um, polymer clay. Mm -hmm. Or even attach it to shibori. I don't see why you couldn't. Just have it as a, a loose, I'll say loose hanging, but if you, you attached it with thread from the loop. Literally just sew it into sew the it design. On, yeah. And then it will ha add movement to an otherwise static design. Yeah. That's lovely, yeah. There you go. What can we do price-wise? £10.95. You're getting a pack of three. Which means if you did want to turn it into just a suite of jewellery, earrings and pendant, done! Straight away. <laughs> done. Sorted. Done. Super shiny, aren't they? They're they are lovely, brilliantly shiny. Brilliantly shiny. If you did just use them as a charm on a charm bracelet, it would be one of the most effective charms. Oh gosh, yes, it's, it's very visible in its size and its design. And there's no hesitation to understand what it is supposed to, re to represent, but you can make that mean whatever you want it to. There are quite a lot of charms that do make you go, what, what is, what's that supposed to be? Yes. <laughs> when I started my business, I started out in the charm bead business. Ah. And uh, I, I went through the processes of seeking out really good suppliers. And on the process to finding really good suppliers, I found a lot of not quite so good suppliers. And yes. you'd purchase a bulk of beads that was supposed to be the theme. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. But those are very obviously what they are. Yeah, which is really important. And I've, I've done something very similar where you kind of look at things... What was it? I think it was a fairy or a pixie it was supposed to be. I'm not going to tell you what it looked like. If it's anything like a wire work fairy I tried to make last year, I know exactly what it looked like. <laughs> it went well then, yeah? You <laughs> never made it to air, let me tell you that much. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. 
we all make mistakes. I've had many, many. Uh, right, so we have got the gold plated version. So we've just seen the rose gold plated. We had the sterling silver variety on earlier on with Carol, and we've got here now the gold plated sterling silver. I would be mixing and match matching the metals. Totally, even to the extent of having one pair of earrings with one gold on one side and one rose gold on the other side. Ooh. It'd make people look twice, wouldn't it? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Would you do them different lengths as well? Oh, absolutely, yes. If you're going to go asymmetrical, I'd just yeah. do it. Go for it. Do it. <laughs> They're such a lovely design, though. It is really sweet. It's like lovebirds, isn't it? They you are. always need to have them together. Yeah, a pair. You have to have a pair. We're going to price match that one for you as well. So if you see it in the colour you love, grab it. Just grab it. They are incredible. Really love the effect you're getting on it. I'd be tempted just to like leave it as it is and just turn it straight into a pendant. Simple. You could indeed, but also you could add a, a wrapped loop from the very centre because the bars, oh, or yes. what represents the bars, are quite symmetrical. So a single wrapped loop uh, to a single drop gemstone just beneath the middle one would just add on. Yeah, options. I like the idea of that. Mm. So maybe a briolet pair. Possibly. Or yeah, even that would be one lovely. of the hearts from earlier on. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. How about just hanging? Yes. Or a carved gemstone, or That'd you could nice. have, uh, say, three pearls in different sizes, going from large, medium to small, just sort of coming down, yeah. because it elongates the design, which elongates the neck. What about the rose um, plated butterflies? That would be so pretty, because again, butterflies are symbolic yeah. in so many different ways. And that you have your little butterfly with your little bird cage, yeah. it's quite sweet. Very tempting treat. <laughs> yes, I like the idea of that. Talking of tempting treats, three people so far have guessed correctly. Woohoo! Who will be the overall winner? So if we did have more than one person who was going to guess correctly, it will be a name out of a hat at the end. Maybe not necessarily a physical hat. It might be out of the sweet bowl. Um, but so far, three people are in with a chance of winning that final prize, which is one of the designs coming up in the second kit, which will be in our final hour. Hold those lines on these birdies. Now, next up. Ooh, hello. I have got a super low quantity on these. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no. Is this what I think this is? You serious? Is this um, Ethi Ethiopian? <gasps> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> okay, so for ages and ages and age, I'm so glad someone's listened to me. Yes, um, for ages I've been going on about the fact that so so the um, Ethiopian opal that we've got very limited, of course, because um, the particular mine that we we went to quite a lot of the time um, depleted. You can still get white opal in Ethiopia, but the more new finds, the newer mines that have been discovered. Um, are black opal. They are producing some quantities of the white opal, but in, in comparison, they're producing more of the black opal, and we have not been able to get a hold of that black opal. This is a strand of black Ethiopian opal. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely fabulous. Now, I just want to double-check, though, because... There's an S at the bottom, which indicates that this is a smoked strand. So the way this has been done is it's not the black Ethiopian opal from the newer mines. What it is, is it is the white Ethiopian opal, which has then been smoked. Think about how you smoke a joint of meat. Think about sort of sugar smoking is basically the method that they use. So they okay. smoke it over a long, a long time period, overheat, and you get the most amazing effect. Yes. These are fabulous. You get the most amazing look with smoked opal. Now, price-wise, £17.95 is brilliant. 
just take a look at the effect that you can get because what you have is that smoke permeates the whole of the gemstone and it alters the colour. Can you see that? So you've got that really dark black colour then. And then when you see in the middle, just as it comes round with a light catch, there, there, look, you get the most intense play of colour on it because you've got that darker background. Yeah, that's fabulous. That is absolutely fabulous. It's the beauty of opal, isn't it? It's like an electric yeah. storm in a night sky. It may not be the newer black opal from the newer mines, but who cares? Because these are just gorgeous. Oh, hello. I don't know, can we get close? And I know I've just been told they've pretty much gone, but can we just have a little quickie look at this one? Can you see? Are there? Oh, that's gorgeous. And I know the camera's not picking it up very well. They are amazing. Also, sorry about the slight orange look of my nails. I did eat an orange during the break and it just seemed to have dyed my fingers. <laughs> it was very nice. Well, it kind of wasn't, in fairness. Was it a bit tart? It was. Mm. It you was quite pull a sharp. Face. Mm. I did pull several faces, in <laughs> fairness. Uh, but let me bring to you. Oh, hello. So we had the butterflies earlier on. I've got some hearts for you in a very similar design. So you've got the two holes through the centre. You've got that pivot in the middle. So it catches the light. It's almost like half a butterfly wing, isn't it? You could turn it into a butterfly. You really could, or you could wire those onto the bird cages, the love bird oh, cages, yes. just on the outside. Oh, yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? You're actually getting a pack of ten of these. Ten of them. That's lots to play with, isn't it? Yeah. And again, you can use them like little buttons if you want to. That's, that's actually really lovely, isn't it? The idea mm. of using them as buttons. Now, price-wise, we're going to be naughty on these ones. £10.95. Pack of ten. Oh, yes, please. Sweet treats, ahoy! Very much sweet treats, ahoy. Look at the glow that you get from it. And again, with that angling, you, you get the different moments of light reflection. I'm wanting to pop it with shibori. I'm wanting to put them sort of bow tie effect so it does look like butterflies. Beautiful, yeah. Just side by side. I know we had the butterfly ones earlier on, but these, these are... I don't know if you went down more of a mechanical butterfly route or almost like a Ooh. steampunk butterfly, maybe. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Here we are. Just an idea of... Do, 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 Love do. it. Really cute. Really cute. Now, I want to bring you some black spinel, which those little gold hearts would go beautifully oh, with, yes. wouldn't they? So, oh, yes. natural segue. <laughs> I'll say little black spinel. <laughs> it ain't little. Dun, 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 dun. We're looking at six to eight mils in size, so not shy or little at all. The sparkle you get with a spinel is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The thing about spinel is I've often said that it's got mirror -like, a mirror-like finish. It does. And it genuinely does have a mirror-like, as in you can see yourself in it. Yeah. And it takes a facet so perfectly. The size you've got of these as well, I don't know if you can, let me just move that out of the way. But I don't know if you can see, but the amount of light, oh, you can see it, there's no, no point in me saying, I don't know if you can see it, you can see it. Um, the amount of light you get bouncing off the surface of this is absolutely incredible. 
and every single millimeter that we've been able to put a facet on on one of these has had a facet put on it yes it is it's multi multiplied isn't it it's like a disco ball it is like a mosaic of light and it's £10.95 Yeah, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Pop these with some sterling silver spacers. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Pearls. Yes. Looks amazing with a ruby. Oh. And in support to a black star diopside as well. They I are love black star absolutely diopside. Absolutely stunning. Mm hmm Yeah. You know, a black star diopside is the gemstone of learning. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah. It's sometimes referred to as black star of India as well, which oh. I think is a really beautiful name. Mm. Mm. My first strand of black spinel that I purchased independently and away from here and several years ago was not dissimilar in its size to this. And it was £25, <laughs> which at the time yeah, no, I thought yeah. I'd done quite well. And I asked them for a certificate of authenticity because I thought, well, how am I going to know, being very new, that this isn't a strand of black agate? Yeah because I, I wouldn't at that time have been able yeah. to really ascertain. So I said, can I please have a certificate of authenticity? And they said, yes, that'll be an extra five pounds. I'm actually surprised it was only five pounds they mm. charged. So 30 pounds is, is what my strand cost me. It's a very beautiful strand. I've, yeah. I've got no quibble with it whatsoever. But I think when you have- I take it you still got the strand then? I do still have the strand, yes. I haven't cut it yet. It is very pretty. Uh, but for 25p, your authenticity certificate, and I think 1095 for that amount of such beautiful quality Thai spinel yeah. is amazing. Quite often, if you uh, want to get an authentic authenticity certificate from a jeweller or from a, a gemstone specialist, they tend to send it to a lab to get it tested, and so they've paid the lab for the privilege of those certificates, so you end up paying quite a bit. If you go to a jeweller, you can pay around about £40 sometimes. You can indeed. It depends on where you go, but you can pay a lot of money for an authenticity card. You can. Um, so for the fact we've got it at 25 pence, it is, it's brilliant. Really, really brilliant. There we are, 25 pence, get it added. Get it added, worth it. Yeah. Maybe one of those a solitaire ring as well. Oh, mm. Ooh, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Bing, 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 yep. bing, bing. Just one? Just one. The big one in the middle. Bing, 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 Any bing. of them, because it performs so well. There we are, oh, hello. By Colour Amethyst. 100 carats. Now, if I hold it out, you'll see it a little bit better. There we are. Um, so you are getting darker amethyst and lighter amethyst on this. 38 centimetre strands. Six mil. What are your six mils good for? Everything. There we are. Everything. Everything, everything, everything. Great for stretchies. Great for earrings, great for incorporating into lots of different designs. They're just are. all round great, aren't they? Really? They are absolutely fantastic. And if you want to use one as a centre point, six mil is still substantial enough to be seen. If you add on some three or four mil gemstones or crystals to either side, it really does show. So you can use them individually or, or use them as they're stranded with that colour variation. It looks very attractive. Do you know what would be really nice, actually? Adding this to the connector from earlier on that looks amazing oh yeah it does if you did get that um, as one of the star buys earlier add this to your order eight pounds 95 don't forget if you are adding to your order you are not paying any more postage and packaging it is one p and p for the entirety of the day so you pay two pounds 95 you can order anything that we have available and still not have to pay more than that £2.95 for postage and packaging. Which is amazing. It is. It you, absolutely is. You could attempt to order myself and Jem, provided you live in a very hot climate and have a nice swimming pool. We would hand deliver. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Not that, we, not that we want a holiday or anything, but I would be very happy to sit in that parcel. St. Lucia, Barbados. Yeah, anywhere like that. <laughs> if you want us to hand deliver your gemstones to you. There we are. 
That would be really nice, actually. A little bit of a holiday. A little bit of a road trip. Or oh, a, yeah. A plane trip. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, £8.95. Amethyst is a well-known, well-loved, amazing gemstone. And everybody's going to know it. It is a go-to as a gift, I think. Amethyst is a go-to gift. Definitely. So if you are making to give as gifts, Amethyst, the perfect one. It is. It's very, very popular. I think the uh, most popular gemstone colour has been voted for as blue, closely followed by purple. So Amethyst is well known, as you say. It's well regarded. It has is its historical uh, meanings as well. So it's beautiful. It's my favourite colour. It's one of my top five gemstones. Hate to want to sound like a broken record as well, but guess what this year's Pantone colour is ultraviolet so it will go perfectly with that as well uh, now what was next my lovely Ooh. ribbed beads <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ribbed beads to be precise <laughs> they look like co uh, not coffee beans cocoa beans that's the one mm-hmm Oh, pumpkins, little pumpkins, yeah. Or little nuts. Aww. They are really lovely. I can see these going perfectly with something like a kunzite or a jadeite. They're really nicely finished. I've got to say that one thing that I've noticed about the quality of our bees is the finish is really lovely. There is, there is no sort of... What do you call it? You know when you... You have to whittle the edges away. You can sometimes be left with a little spur, yeah, which you, you would need to file and, and so forth. So the less, the less finer quality beads have edges to them that are not finely finished or not highly polished. And they just look a little bit tacky, whereas the finish on our beads is really lovely. Always you're getting that incredible high-end finish. I mean, you look at this and there is nowhere that you can see any seams that you can see any, anything other than perfection, really. And they're the same size. Yes. So when you use them in your designs, it, it doesn't kind of look uneven in any way. Whereas, again, you know, some places you will find them and they're just kind of crafted loosely. Yes, yeah. It's almost as though they've turned them out far too quickly. Yes. It's like one of those machines that uh, makes sausages under great duress. It, that they don't yes. come out looking right. Or so. chocolate moulds that have not quite gone quite right. Mm -hmm. Although I wouldn't mind having the, the misshapen <laughs> chocolate, in fairness. Not so much the beads. But these are always really high quality, the beads that we have. And these are fabulous. There are so many elements to this that could have gone wrong. And yet the quality is stunning. And to get them for just £10, a pound each. Yeah. It's a good silver weight as well, isn't it? It's a very good silver weight. You've got four grams overall. Four grams overall for less than £10. I would definitely, if I was at home now, be multi-buying on those because I think if all you wanted to do was strand them onto elastic and carefully glue or use a clear nail varnish to seal that, that's going to be super effective and it's all precious metal. Absolutely. Absolutely. How much would you charge for something like that then if you just use them as a stretchy? Well, if they're about six mil, let me think, how many would you need to create a stretchy? So I would think... Don't ask me to do math. <laughs> Come on. Probably if it was full metal all the way around, sort of 50, 60 pounds, I would think, because it's solid. Yeah, that's metal. a good price. Mm. Very good price. Very much a good price. I love the fact the rose gold as well. I mean, quite often we do see the silver, which are gorgeous nonetheless, but it's nice to have that colour choice. It is, and they would look amazing with kunzite and with your yes. jadeite and with pearls. Do you say lip lipidolite? I didn't, but it would look good with lipidolite yeah, as well. Yeah, I was well. thinking lipidolite. Mm. I haven't seen any of that for a while, actually. Or seraphonite. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, now that's one I wouldn't have thought of. It would look beautiful with seraphonite. It would look amazing with showerite as well. And showerite. Oh. Oh, mm. whoa, let's squeeze another one in, shall we? Let, oh, uh, whoa, don't Feisty. run away. <laughs> don't run, the hair everywhere again. Um, oh, hello. That one was my hair. I can identify that one was curly. It was, it was my hair, colour said. It was my hair length, so it's definitely my hair, unless you've stolen some of my hair. 
Uh, not as far as I know. No, so it's mine. It was mine. In that instance, it was. Right, so now we know the hair on the desk was my hair. Always good. <laughs> good to know that. I'm going to bring to you, same colourway, not as my hair, but same colourway as the um, beads that we've just seen, but this time three pairs of sterling silver, rose gold plated, cubic zirconia studs with the butterfly backs as well. You do not need to do anything to these if you do not wish to. They're but if you did... Idyllic, aren't they? Mm. Really pretty. If you are making to sell, say making to sell, you don't need to make this at all. <laughs> if you are buying to sell on, you can always pop them on your stall, maybe as a free gift. Yep, pop them into a gift box. They will look just super impressive. Mm -hmm. It's a really beautiful shape, really beautiful with the addition of that cubic. I love them. They're brilliant. Don't you think as bridesmaids gifts, perhaps for slightly Ooh. younger bridesmaids, that would be really lovely? Yeah, I but like the something idea. Something that. that you can wear every day if you choose to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. They are really easy wearing, aren't they? There's not too much to them to actually catch the hair or anything like that. So you can wear your hair up, wear your hair mm -hmm. down. Just wear them as is, or as you say, you were hinting at, you could add on to them if you so desire. Yeah, if you wanted to. Mm hmm I mean, there is no loop there. It's not one of the studs that you can get the loop to, but you could because of the point at the base mm. where it tapers in. You could attach something there if you wanted to. From the very simplest, you could add in a little jump ring and a length of chain, which yeah. would look quite cute. Or you could uh, do a little wrapped loop and add a single gemstone. It's entirely yeah. up to you. Or leave them as they are because they're very cute. Absolutely. What can we do price-wise? Let's do a cute price to go with the cute design eleven pounds ninety five for the three now how much that work out each three ninety nine a pair or something very similar I love the fact you just literally just came out with that three pounds ninety eight it was close it was extremely <laughs> close <laughs> I'd give it to you I would just say that's it you've won it done <laughs> three pounds ninety eight a pair you can incorporate that into your, your pricing if you are making to sell. So you can say, if you spend £50 with me, you can get a pair of earrings mm -hmm. for free. Which is brill. That would be fabulous. Fabulosity. Fabulosity. Or a birthday gift for less than £5. For the present draw, absolutely. And that present draw isn't just for the festive season in December. Any time of year you get caught short and it's, you know, it's, you can't always keep a box of chocolates on hand because they've got a sell-by date. Well, I'd eat them, in fairness. <laughs> Forget the sell-by date, I'd eat them. So you could have these ready in a little box, ready to go. No name on the tag, just hanging about. I wouldn't eat these. No, I would hope not. No. It just, there was a pause there because I went through my house going, do I still have chocolate in the house somewhere? <laughs> I do. I actually do. <laughs> right, after the break, I am going to bring to you something very special with a Parisian feel. Um, I've got a very, very, very affordable bundle of your French wire for you. And it's the final hour, which means we're going to find out who the winner of the competition is. And we're going to see the second kit. So I'll see you in two. <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. It couldn't be easier to buy from Jewellery Maker with all the information you need right there on screen. From the item code and the product description right down to the price. And whether you're buying at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. 
So what are you waiting for? Simply telephone our free phone number or join us at jewelrymaker.com and start your jewelry making journey today. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We're offering an amazing deal that you've never seen before for the month of love. For the first time ever, we want you to bring a friend for free during the month of February. So head over to our workshops page on our website, select any workshop in February and simply enter the code BAFFF1 to secure our amazing one-off offer. From Workshops with Love. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. I'm Laurie Lou and this of course is the gorgeous gem and we are going to let you know. Now the information on the screen is for my French wire. I will be coming back to this in a moment but we are going to give you a really affordable way of using your French wire. So it is a pack of 20 pieces. Mm -hmm. I love French wire mainly because it feels incredible and it is springy. Brilliant. <laughs> now it's one of those wires that you can use for so many different things. It's great as a finishing wire, but I have to do it. I have to do it every single time. If you've mm -hmm. not seen this done before, now it's not a memory wire, so it's not going to go back. But if you wanted to do something slightly different with it, you can tease it out. If you really wanted to, you can pull it pretty much almost straight. And then you have that diamond cut effect. Yes. How would you use it then, my lovely? Well, I would uh, tease it slightly so it's open. Not quite like this. Not completely all the way like okay. that one, but just a little bit. And then use it in uh, designs where it looks a bit like mermaid hair. It looks really cute. Oh. Or you can open it ever so slightly and then embellish your wire wrap design. So just kind of 
almost like um, when you see a diagram of an atom and you see the, the circuit of oh, the yes, outer yes. particles. It, it just yeah. have fun with it. It's great. But there's so much there that if you want yeah. to use it in its traditional sense, which is to finish your knotted jewellery, to protect the silk at the end from being worn by the clasp or the uh, bolt ring or the jump ring at the end. So how would you use it in that way? In its traditional sense. Yeah. Let me just see if I've got some fine wire here uh, to replicate the silk that you would use in your knotting. So if you're pearl knotting. Mm -hmm. For instance, you really only need a very small amount of the French wire to generate. So can I cut a little piece off the end? Would that be okay? I don't see why not. So you would probably only need... That's less than an inch just there. And uh, when you get to the end of your project where you, you've done your beading or your knotting, and to protect the material, whatever material you've used, as long as it fits inside the wire, let me see if I can do that. Up around the end, we would create a little loop like so. And then once you've got your closed loop, let me just draw that around and just twist it. And imagine this is a silk, we'll crimp and cover that crimp and then we add our jump ring through here or before you come back on yourself and not, you would add in whatever the ending of your particular design would be. So you could go straight into the bolt ring yep. clasp or, or whatever you're using at the other end of the clasp uh, and it just protects your material. Yeah, because it's not wearing against the actual thread itself. Exactly. So you're interior especially in silk it's one of the, the places where it, a lot of antique designs go um is the, the silk will have worn through yeah because it is constantly moving so you would just cut that little bit extra there and you can see we've used probably about three quarters of an inch possibly a centimeter yeah. and a half something like that £2.95. <laughs> now, it is known that when you are pearl knotting every so many years, I can't remember, I think it's about ten, every ten, five to ten years or something, mm -hmm. you need to get the, the pearls re knotted. No, I think it's every couple of years, isn't it? I know that Fleur offers a surface, a service, a, a surface, a service where she will re knot yeah. uh, pearls one time after she's de uh, created for somebody yeah. um, because silk has a tendency to stretch. Even yes. if you precondition it before yeah. you do your knotting, it will have a tendency to stretch. Um, older designs will have been exposed to elements yeah. and um, you skin, do need to get them redone and they will need to be recreated. So if this is. 20 pieces of 12 inches that's 20 feet and we've used half an inch three quarters of an inch it's going to go a long way if you use it it's going to go a long purpose, way you may never need to buy any more <laughs> that's yeah that's a good point it is really really good two pounds 95 add it to your stash so you are getting 20 pieces in total Bearing in mind this is a studio sample and we've probably stretched and played with some of it. So I might... have definitely stretched a lot of this. <laughs> definitely stretched a lot of it. But you can, in, very simply, just thread it onto your wires. You can gizmo with it, which gives you a beautiful effect, especially if you use a contrasting wire underneath. So you, you can use it as its original intention as French wire to protect your ends, yep. or you can use it decoratively. Just They're really play. nice as spacers as well. Yes, and... you. You saw how easy it was to cut with uh, my flush cutters and it didn't crush in any way. It just yes. opens up as you yeah, put yeah. the flush cutters through. Really is an addition to your collection. That is, is a good one. It's a good one to make, especially at the price point that you're getting there. Mm. Get a couple of them and then you have a choice of using it in the very many different ways you can. <laughs> now, don't forget the competition is still ongoing. If you want to make a guess as to how many sweets there are, I want to keep wanting to say gemstones. They're not gemstones. <laughs> How many sweets there are in this jar? We have lovingly counted them into this jar. If you are one of the winners, so there is going to be one prize, but at the moment three people have guessed it right so far, so one of those three will win. Would you like to point out which one it is? This one. Let me just move particular that design out of the way for you. I want to say pendant, but it's more like it's more of a necklace, isn't it? You will win this. 
one of the three so far we've still got time for somebody else to come in so it might be four it might be five one of you will be drawn out at random from the correct answers and one of you will get this so if you want to guess how many ge uh, gem so say it now <laughs> how many sweets there are in that jar please send your message into six zero travel seven start the message with jm studio your answer your name and do not forget your customer number if there is no customer number then you cannot be a winner because we cannot contact you it's as simple as that um, so let us have a sneaky peek at the jewelry and then i'll bring you the kits which will help you to make them i love Apparently that one is going home with Ben. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Ben has already uh, dibs dibs to that <laughs> one. They are gorgeous. Every single design that we're getting on this particular collection is brilliant. I love the cascade with the the tiger's eye. Mhm. Mm it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It really is. Very serpenty. Yes, I, I don't quite know what the inspiration was for that one, but I, I just really enjoyed it. <laughs> mm, I do like that. I like that a lot. So, what are we going to be giving you in this kit? We're looking at mocha chocolate. That kind of makes me want to dance. Does it? A mocha chocolate. I want to go on holiday again now. Dear, dear. <laughs> there we are. You make me want to go on holiday. Now, there are two cabs that you're getting in this particular kit so you are getting now I just want to confirm because I've not got my pad with me so the information I have is is limited as to how many so we're looking at goldstone here now goldstone is not a stone it is not a gemstone in any way shape or form it is glass it is gorgeous man-made glass and you can see that incredible adventure essence. That's why you get that brilliant uniformity to it. So if you want to have something like an adventurine where you've got the adventure essence, mm -hmm. you don't see a lot of adventure essence in adventurine, but in this, you're getting masses of it. Masses and masses and masses. It basically looks like, I want to say, golden sand has been drenched all over it. But it is actually, it's the copper effect that you're getting. So it's little, little fine elements, metallic elements that are in there that bring about this incredible look. For me, it always makes me think of supernova. Yeah. Or, or when you see stars in a distant galaxy oh, and there's yes. sort of mistiness around them, mystery gases. It does create the most amazing look, doesn't it? They look sugary just there. They do. Almost almost wintry actually because you know when the frost is on the ground and it twinkles in that way yes and with the color of them it's almost like uh, the certain berries that are out that are sort of yeah. brownie ready and when they're frosted it it kind That's of reminiscent really so can i just have the sizes for these ones it's actually goldstone your information on the the screen is oh well, we have a tiger's eye, a double drilled facet. Well, this is definitely not sandstone, this is goldstone that, is, that we're yeah. looking at. Oh dear, the information seems to be slightly <laughs> wrong. You should have got one of those on, in one of these two. I definitely don't. Uh -huh. I don't remember which one that came with. <laughs> yep. Two. These two are 20 by 30, so you are getting the two of them here. You will be getting the tiger's eye, which unfortunately I didn't have a studio sample, so thank you, Gem. This is how many carats? 28 carats in total, and that's 25 by 20, so a really good size to that one as well. Beautiful look to this. It's glorious. They are fab, aren't they? So that was the only thing I was missing off my uh, studio sample was this one. So the gold stone you get two of, the tiger's eye is natural tiger's eye, it's the yellow variety of tiger's eye, and then you are also getting some gorgeous wire as well. You will be getting your antique bronze copper wire, 10 metres of the 1 mil. You're also going to be getting 10 metres of the 4 mil. You'll be getting three meters of the point eight. 
and, you're, and that one is actually the copper half round. And the copper square wire, you're getting three metres of 0.8. I wasn't expecting it to have the square wire as well. It's fab. How different is it to work with than the round? It's a very different animal. Oh, very different animal. <laughs> For the same diameter, yeah. a square wire will always have more resistance. It will be stronger. Oh. And that's down to its shape and the forces that you have to apply to make it move. Brilliant. Which are different to the forces you have to apply for round wire. And also, if you look at a square head-on, you're getting more space in that square than you would with an equivalent 0.8mm round. Yeah. Because you're missing all your four corners, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. So it, it will be heavier than a, a, a 0.8 in a round. So it's a sturdier, stronger... Mm -hmm. It will act more like a 1mm gauge okay. in your round wire. Just sort of think of it as going up a gauge. It gives you a really nice strength. Brilliant. It's a really nice look to it as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Really gorgeous to work with. And it's lovely to have a, a reel of the 0.8 in the half round and in the square. Because if you look at them side by side, you I defy you to sort of see that those are the two same gauges. No, they, they look to look me to be very all. different. So your half round is this one here. And this one at the bottom is, is your square. The square is substantially larger mm -hmm. visually. It is, yeah. But they are the same. That's but the diameter across yes. is exactly the same. It's very, very unusual how it works, but very enjoyable. Ah. So you're getting all of that, and of course your goldstone, and of course your tiger's eye. You're getting all of that for £24.95. That's fab because you get such a big reel of the round, yes. and you get your two special profiles, and you get your weaving wire as well. You're getting a lot. That really, really beautiful double drilled tiger's eye that we're just looking at now it's exceptional absolutely exquisite it's really nice that it's double drilled as well we don't often see that size with the two holes it's really useful as well bracelet i'm thinking mm -hmm. now there is a second part to this kit as well which is really quite elegant <laughs> so when do we get to see oh that is gorgeous isn't it it's a very special strand I'm just going to ask now, what, what price are we... Don't, don't show anybody at home, but what price are we looking at for this particular part of the kit? You're going to want to get this. <laughs> this is 60 carats of zircon. Two by one to four by two. Graduated, faceted, rondelles. It's a 25 centimetre strand and it is by far the richest, most chocolatey, most sumptuous zircon strand I have ever had the privilege of bringing to you. I am actually quite in awe of it. I struggled to cut it. I can see why. Mm. That is absolutely stunning. That is seriously serious. I have not seen a strand like that of zircon. Full stop. I received the kit before I received the list of what I was getting. You would not initially, looking at this, say, that's a zircon. Inside the packet, which was inside another packet, which was inside a bubble wrap, I thought maybe it was Tiger's Eye. The, but do you know, richness, that was the first thing that crossed my mind when I originally saw it. Was, but the richness of the colour, yeah. isn't it reminiscent? Yeah. And you don't expect that in a Zircon, certainly not in a kit. I am actually really in <laughs> awe <laughs> about this. But could, you, could you just give me the specifications of this particular strand? Like location, yeah? <laughs> Any treatments, any? <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> no, I wasn't expecting. That is amazing. You know how you welled up yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, that's the finest strand that I have seen. 
me feeling a little bit weak at the knees. I feel a bit emotional. Totes bit emotional. Bit emotional. <laughs> I have genuinely never seen a strand like that of, of Zircon. That's amazing! There's no treatment to this strand whatsoever. Um, okay, going back to the price point that this is going to be at, you are going to want to get this just for the strand. Just for the strand. We are giving you pearls in there as well. Which They're are beautiful, but they kind of get a little bit shadowed over by the strand. Sorry, not that I'm obsessing over the strand at all, but and the two together, they are, they are stunning. Get an authenticity card. Absolutely, 100%. Get yourself an authenticity card. Because that is amazing. So we are looking at on the pearls, 8 mil. Ivory freshwater cultured pearls. Completely natural on the colour, so no bleaching, no dyeing. It's an 18 centimetre strand, so perfect as a bracelet, which, thank you very much, has just been... Uh, Oh, I like what you've done with this. I wanted to show you how they sit because they are slightly baroque in having a, a flatter bottom and a more domey top. And if like you me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. But if you sit them flat side to flat side, you get this almost, I don't know, like a pair of macarons stuck together. Ah. You're making me hungry now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> always, always. Um, how have you done this bit? Is this actually sitting over the, the pearls? or is That's it... just where I've put the knot and I've pulled as tight as I can with the elastic and then just used that to Tied slide over, over the elastic. Brilliant. And that is the square wire and how beautiful it looks when you coil it. It really does. Have you flattened that at all? So have you hammered it? No, it's just Not in the slightest. literally Can coiled. I just tilt that ever so slightly? So if I move that around so that those two coils are now just facing down out of the way, you can see how beautiful it is to coil with your square wire. So if you've not worked with your profile wire and you've been a bit, I don't know, perhaps wary of going for the, we sometimes bring them in a, like a 16 pack of all the different sizes and all yeah, the different yeah. shapes. If you just want a little bit of a taste of this is really the perfect kit for mm. you to kind of try those two different profiles. And it just, it's just lovely to work with. I think it looks beautiful. Seriously beautiful. £24.95 for your pearls and the most amazing Zircon strand. Ugh. Now, fabulous. we are going to have to bring the demo to, mm -hmm. I'm afraid. I have, I've oohed and aahed over the strand <laughs> for far too long. <laughs> I've, I've been told to shut up. Oh, it wasn't quite like that. <laughs> It was. It was. <laughs> it was basically, Lara, will you shut up? Sorry. Sorry. So, well, there's a couple of things that we can look at if you want to. Uh, we can look at how to use the double drilled tiger's eye faceted piece, uh, which the one millimetre wire fits through ever so beautifully. Or we can look at channel setting for the zircon, but I've realised that I've dropped the zircon on the floor so I just need to hop off and get that if you don't mind so which one would you like to do I, ca I can't do decisions so somebody else has to pick the channel setting right bear with excuse I'm, me one I've second. been told to shut up so I'm just gonna stay <laughs> quiet <laughs> <laughs> excuse me I'm just rustling sorry I need a step ladder it's ever so high <laughs> It really is. You do have to climb up. Okie dokie. So with channel setting, there are a couple of different ways that you can achieve this. Sorry for the noise. There we go. All sorted. Isn't it beautiful? It is amazing. Both, both just off. Oh. So what would you have guessed that was? Because it had all the sparkle of a zircon, but the colour threw me because it is so deep and rich. Tiger's eye initially, yes. But I would have put it down as a, an andalusite. The andalusite is exactly the thing that I thought. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the round profile wire for this section. 
and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can channel set in sorry feisty wire in designs such as that bangle piece but what you can also do when you've got yourself a nice strip of the uh, channel setting mm -hmm. is you can bend it round into the shape of an initial or okay. you can add it as a floating bail over the top of a pendant design so quite often when I make a pendant I'll make a little circle around and then I'll wire a gemstone or a, a, a goldstone into position and then I'll have this great big long tail of wire sticking off the side well one of the things that you can do is to create a floating bail add a second layer of wire and then do a little channel setting and draw that all the way around so it takes what could be quite a small gemstone if you chose and makes it into a much bigger piece so it's a way of enhancing your existing work but we're just going to look at the channel setting aspect to begin with now one thing that you will have to um, bear with me please is I'm not very good at threading beads onto wire so I'm just going to pop a couple on here ready and we'll have a go <laughs> do you want to I pop you laugh at that well, you're no undoubtedly going to be better than I am I'm at not. it. So if we pop those onto, this is a 0.4 millimetre gauge, and I tend to struggle because my sight isn't um, terribly wonderful. What I'm going to do is just to prepare a couple of lengths of the 1 millimetre gauge round antique bronze wire, and I'm just going to give them a little bit of conditioning. This one's got a bit of a kink in it, and your antique bronze wire has a beautiful, very stable surface. So I'm actually just using metal flat pliers to straighten that out a little bit to get rid of that little kink that was in there. So again, a little bit of preconditioning, just warming those metals so that they're more easy and wonderful to work with. Thank you very much, Lara. Very much appreciate your help on that one because otherwise we could have been there a while. <laughs> So what we're going to do is, uh, let's have a look. There's about 10 to 12 inches of the one millimetre wire. Okay, okay. And there are two of those. And that gives us enough to make a bangle or to make a little cuff if we go a little bit more decorative. <laughs> Don't pinch the sweets! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was super unprofessional, but his hand little snuck in and... You can have them after we've named the winner. Yeah. Not until. <laughs> I believe you tried to steal the switch. So that has gone down. No, it's just shaken. Don't worry. Okay. It's fine. It's just gravity. So we're going to give ourselves a couple of inches of spare at the end. And what that allows us to do is to change our mind with our project. We can turn it into curls. We can connect it together if we're doing a complete circle bangle. Or we can just make it into coils and make it decorative if we're adding it onto another design. So Lara has very kindly added on to, on the spool, she is a good egg, I've been told. <laughs> I love it a bit. Chocolate pops, egg, that's what I am. <laughs> just pop some of those absolutely glorious zircon onto this uh, length of the 0.4 millimetre gauge for me. Now I think I used almost the whole strand in the bangle design, so you will need to sit there, spend a little bit of time just threading those on. Uh, just to prepare it, leave it on the reel because it will be much easier to control leaving it on the reel. Yeah. Okay. So make sure you don't drop the end. Wrap that around a good four or five times around one of your sections of one millimeter gauge wire. So we're going to give that a bit of a squeeze up together. Again, we're looking at keeping our tension and tautness. So what I tend to do for this is I pop one side of the pliers above the other side of the pliers below and draw that all up together and that gives us a really nice neat coil to start with and then I will need to just trim away that tail you can of course if you prefer just continue to wind that around and chase it in bearing in mind you'll want to replicate the number of turns at the far end if you're looking to generate that beautiful symmetry so I'm just going to take that last little bit and tweak until that sits super smooth so the first thing that we're going to do is drop one of our glorious gemstones into position and just bring that back into shot, so sorry. There we go, draw that around. Again, ensuring we've got enough of a tail here to work with later. Currently, my 0.4 millimetre gauge is coming over the top of my first 1 millimetre gauge wire. So I want it to also come over the top of my second wire. What I'm going to do is just twist this around 
so that it's easier for me to work with and for you guys to understand. So at the moment, the fine wire is going over the top of my lower one mil and over the top of my upper one mil. I'm now going to wrap four times around this upper section of the one millimeter gauge wire. So that's one, we're keeping that nice and taut as we go, three and four times. So what you can see we have created is a wrap, wire comes over the top, gemstone sits high, wire comes over the top of the upper wire, wrap four times. Now what we're going to do is pinch these two wires super firmly so that we don't squeeze these wires together. This is what we're looking to avoid. We want those to have a nice gap between them. Okay. Give that a really good grip. The wire is now coming, the fine point four is coming underneath both of upper and lower wire and we're now going to wrap four times around this lower wire. So one and two. Welcome to Counting with Gem. <laughs> TV to make you feel sleepy. So there we go, we've got four wraps on okay. the lower wire. If that gets a little bit wild for you, support that coil and give it a bit of a squeeze. Give it a little bit of a snuggle and it will sit neatly. So we're back to having our 04 millimeter gauge over the top of both wires. So we're going to introduce our second gemstone. And once I've done this for a second time, I will show you the effect that we get underneath as well. So push your gemstone into position. We're now going to wrap, you probably guessed it, four times around the upper wire. You can, if this is getting on your nerves, just bend that out of the way. We preconditioned our one millimeter gauge so it's nice and soft. We're wrapping four times, one, that's two, that's three, that's four, all the way underneath both, and then four around the lower wire. Bearing in mind, we want to retain the distance to be the same as our starting point. We can do that by gripping very firmly, or you can use a ring clamp to get you started. A ring clamp is a device that has uh, two sections of padded wood that can clamp onto mostly the base of a ring so that you can set a stone and then you stick a wedge up the other end which snaps it all down into position. That will help you when you're starting out get the tension and keep that distance. It needs to be like railroad tracks or tram lines. The same distance between the two lines all the way along. So I'm just going to go for four little wraps at the bottom and then I'm going to flip the design over and show you what that looks like from behind. Give that a squeeze, make it neat. Let's flip the design over. And you can see that we've got the gemstone is further away, but we've also got a stripe of wire. Now this is handy, let me show that to two. So this is the rear of the design. So you can see, hopefully, that you've got that little extra cross of wire. If I move that around, you might see the glistening of the wire. And if I flip that over to show you the front, the gemstone's sitting much higher and the whole design, let me flip it this way, is supported by those little crosses of wire underneath. So that's one way of channel setting. And what that gives you is a nice proud profile for your gemstone. So when you're looking at a gemstone that is as beautiful as this very warm, very gorgeous, very rich zircon, mm. I want to see that coming up and out from the design. So I'm just going to trim that there. And that is one way that we can channel set. Another way that we can channel set is to go backwards and forwards. So if I just move a little bit further along the design, the main process is the same. So I'm going to start off by wrapping four times around here and then trimming and making it nice and neat. Two, three and four. Squeeze that up together. Let's trim that tail away, always making sure you're trimming the right bit of wire. Get in nice and close if you can. Just going to move that out of the way because it's distracting. Bear with me a second, I'm going to chase that tail out by moving the pliers in a circular direction around that heavy one mil gauge. And that just brings it nice and tight into position. So what we're going to do now is basically a filled figure of eight. My fine wire has come over the top of the upper one mil, but it's coming underneath the lower one mil. So I'm going to bring in one gemstone into position, down the zip wire, 
So you can see what is going to happen here is we're going to do our traditional figure of eight weave and this is fine wire comes over the top one side but goes underneath on the other. So four wraps again because four wraps with a 0.4 mil just works so well with this size of gemstone. Now there's no individual back bare wire on this design. We're just going to add a second gemstone. Now they've decided to get tangled up on the uh, reel, so bear with me a second while I free one. We just pop that down. You've done a good uh, job at that. It really has tangled. Phase, concentration phase. Let's just pop that out of the way. There we go. So we're going to add in a second gemstone now. And we've come over the top of our lower wire. That means we must go underneath the upper side. Drop that into position wrap all the way around four times. Now with this method of channel setting you get to see a different effect of the gemstones because one will be sat like so and the next will be sat like so. So when you have the variation in colour as we have on this particular strand they're really beautiful to see that different faceting. The facets on this one are coming up towards this side and on this gemstone are going up there. If I can show you that on two you might be able to discern that difference. Put my thumb behind, you'll be able to see. Sorry for the skin, it's wire working lots and lots of hours. So you can see the difference in how those appear compared to, if I can bring this one back into position, compared to that where they sit proud, in this fashion they sit much more equally between the two tram lines. So that hopefully is helpful with your uh, channel setting, they're both equally as good as another, it depends what you want to achieve. I particularly enjoy having that bare wire crossing at the back because it almost elevates the gemstone up as you would in traditional jewellery. I, I do prefer this one, mm -hmm. I do, with the raised area, it's a lot, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a lot nicer but for me I like, I like the visual that you've got there in comparison to the other visual. They're both beautiful though. They are indeed but the idea with the back and forwards with a traditional figure it's like adding a gemstone to a traditional figure of eight yeah. so if you've done figure of eight all the way along a design then you want to introduce gemstones it oh, looks yes. nice if you continue yeah, yeah. and also when you do have different color like I was going to say different color ways to look quite nice, yeah. having those two different faces almost like this yeah. going on and back and on and back it really catches the light beautifully so it depends what you want to achieve mm. with that particular design so you can imagine two completely different gemstones together in that. That'd be gorgeous. So say... Uh, Alternate them. Yeah. Aquamarine and ruby. Yeah, blue mm. and red. That was the two colours I was thinking of. Ooh, there we spooky. Go. There we go. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much, my darling. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, thank you. It is an incredibly gorgeous strand mm. as well. So if you are going for the strand on its own, just, just treat yourself. For the order full. Gust of the kit, honestly... In my mind, I, you know, they, those pearls are a, a billy bonus. Yes. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I'd, I'd be quite happy to pay just that mm. for the one strand. In fact, you're getting these as well. Brilliant. Now, what can I squeeze in? Ooh. We've got 25 minutes to squeeze as many things in mm. as possible. How about I bring to you... Ooh. Ooh. You are right, chick? Oh, I am. Ooh. Oh, I say. Oh, I am. Oh, my gosh, these are fiery. Na, na, na. You need to see these. These are your lunar beads, or lunar round cabochons, and Ooh. cherry. Becky, my lovely, you've got to select me. There we are. She was eating an apple and deselected me. <laughs> so she sounds like she's a million miles away. How did you manage to find these ones? She's just good. <laughs> we did have the orange ones yesterday, didn't we? And they were beautiful, the mango ones we had yesterday. Today, we are treating you to the cherry on the cake. Do you know, where I'm sitting, with the light coming directly down from multiple sources, they're absolutely exquisite. They really are amazing. They actually, there's a, a, a slight crisscross effect of shadows over the surface when you see them in this and I don't think you're going to be able to see them in the way oh, that we are. It's almost like a little starfish has spread itself over the top. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! That's it, the best yeah, way I can describe yeah. it, I'm sorry. It does look like, you're not going to see it. The reason we're seeing it the way we are is because of the amount of lights there are in the studio. So when there's that crossover, but you will get an amazing effect on every single one. I mean, look at these. They oh. are delicious. 
Aww. And that's such a beautiful colour as well. It's very cheerful, but warm and inviting and passionate. And cherry -y. And cherry -y. I, I am like thinking, cherries. I do as well. Uh, you've got a favourite? I like picotta cherries. You always mention this, picotta cherry. I'm I've really never sorry. tried a picotta cherry. I'll buy cherry. you some when they come in season. <laughs> Apparently it's a very short season as well. Yeah. Now, £9.95, mm. you're getting six in a pack. Grab them while you can. They look really lovely with shibori as well. Oh, yes. Little dragon's eye designs again. Mm. Mm. Oh. Beginning polybag clay? Yeah. Mm. That would be really good. <laughs> be really good. Now, which one, which one should I bring to you? Ooh, ooh. I have got a little heart ooh. for you. A little <gasps> Swarovski. Oh, that's crazy you good. You can't go wrong with a Swarovski heart. Oh, thank you. Easy we okay. have got the fine tweezers, though, now. Oh, they're handy. I, th I think they may be a guest designer's, which you've just... Uh, Stayed here for a little bit of a visit, but you are getting your Swarovski, Swarovski even, truly in love heart pendant crystal, golden shadow is the colour, and it is stunning. I very much want to get a pinch bail on this. Pinch bail would be perfect and the simplest thing in the world. Look how much sparkle you get from this. If you had a pinch bail on that sterling silver chain. What would you be charging for it? 30 to 50 pounds, dependent on location. Three pound 45 is the cost of your crystal. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. My natural inclination is to wire with it, obviously, uh, but we had some earring findings quite recently which are just made for things like this, and if you were lucky enough to snaffle them, they were sterling silver with a nice hook behind uh, a decorative front section, Ooh. and those would fit perfectly, I'm sure. They're really beautiful. They really, really are. I do love that colour as well of the Swarovski. It's one of one of the first that I worked with mm. was the Golden Shadow, and it's just glorious. You know, you mentioned earring findings. Mm -hmm. Can you remember the drops we had? The big golden drops. The big golden drops. Perfect. Absolutely bang on. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> now that would create a really high end look. Gosh, it would, wouldn't it? Seriously high end look. I can't stop think, imagining it now. <laughs> I wish we had them here now. That would be really handy, but... I think um, they've probably gone back to the... They probably have gone back to the warehouse. Yes. But uh, with your golden... Mm. Yeah, they would look amazing. Uh, now, next up, I am going to bring to you the wire Ooh. bending jig. Lovely wire working lady. Mm -hmm. Would you like to explain the wire bending jig? Well, this is actually not one that I've come across. The, most of the jigs that I've used have been like a flat honeycomb okay. with, with pins that stick up. So this is a new ah. one on me. Well, the way this one is, mm -hmm. wor works is you've got the, the two holes there so you can actually secure it. You've got the screws ah. there to go in. And then it would lay flat or it can sit out from the mm -hmm. side if you wanted to. In those holes there, you would place these little pegs mm -hmm. and decide what style or design you wanted to go and you'd wrap it around and then you've got these areas for the oh. longer wires as well so you have got basically the same kind of thing as you would expect but uh, much more portable yes that's fantastic yeah, and there's some nice substantial pegs as well. The pegs are really good actually, and they do just slot in really easily. And you don't have to, I mean, if you want one there, you can put one there if you want to switch mm -hmm. it to two or three. There are four in total that you mm -hmm. have. So it's just basically make a design that you want and wrap around it. And it will be replicated over and over and over again. So if you use it to make your findings, then they'll all be a uniform size for less than five pounds. Cracking. That is really good. I do like the fact that you have got those uh, apertures and, and the screws so that you can, yeah. if you want a bit more stability and weight, just put that down on a, a, a plate of wood or something. If you didn't want it on the bench, yeah. add it to some wood maybe. Now, would you have it flat on the bench or would you have it to the side so you could do it as, as well? I'd probably have it flat it. on the bench because yeah. that's how I'm used to working with jigs, but there's no reason you couldn't have it attached to the side of your workbench. I suppose the only issue would be you could potentially pull the pegs out. Gravity might not be on your side. Yeah, mm. there we are. 
You've got the option to play around with it though, which is always good. Now, next up, I have got for you a ring size sheet. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Many. That's handy. That's really handy. So, you've got customers coming to you wanting custom made rings. And you're going to take the measurement. You're going to write down the name. So you're not going to forget whose ring finger this is. That's and then fantastic. you can actually make it to, to order and size. That's really good. Oh, I do like that. Very handy. So you can just sort of pull them out, bend them round. Yep. Oh, I <gasps> see. That is the cleverest thing oh. ever. Oh. Ah. Let me just grab my mandrel for you. It's a sticky. <laughs> they didn't say it was a sticky. So you'd trim that as you need it, wouldn't you? And you'd be able to see what size it was. So I think more than anything, the sticky is just the ease of pulling it off. But it is still slightly tacky, so you could... Well, you, you'd be able to see, wouldn't you, if you turn yeah. that that way and just hold, hold that in position. There's enough time for you to see exactly what size you would need. And then just note it down. Yep. Put the name on. Yeah. Done. All good. Love it. They are brilliant. There is plenty of them on oh, there as loads. well. There's lots. Um, you've got two, two sides to it. Um, so you've got plenty, plenty, plenty. They are genius. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Um, £7.95 for the pack. That is going to be very, very, very handy if you are making commissions and you are wanting to take those commissions on the day of you being... It doesn't mean you have to make the actual item on the day, but if you are selling at um, a, a trade fair or a, a craft fair... I'm just wondering, actually, if this is uh, for your silver clay, mm. um, you would be able to find the relevant source for the particular silver clay that you're using. Find an online resource for that one, because different brands will be slightly different. Yeah. And then that will allow you to work in your shrinkage, because when you're working with oh. your art clay or your silver clay or your PMC, whichever one you're working with, yeah. there is an element of that ring size shrinks down. It's 9% or something. And if you don't allow for that, then you, you can't then kind of stretch that out after you've fired. No, so it's, you, it's you need to allow then, yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, that's really handy. What a clever little doohickey. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Now, thank you, my lovely. Believe it or not, <gasps> it's star by time. <laughs> Ruby, emerald. I just been eyeing up your ruby ring, actually. Oh. Oh. Ruby is mm. lovely. Thank you. It's very old. Ruby, <laughs> emerald, and sapphire are known as the big three gemstones. They are by far the most well-known gemstones of all time. And we have got a gorgeous strand for you. Take a look at the yellow one. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking at this going, oh, this is not yellow, it's not, that's not a sapphire, it's not a ruby, that's a... It is. If you look at anything on here that is not blue, red or green, they are sapphires. Fancy. Classed as fancy sapphire. So when you say the word sapphire, you automatically assume it is blue. If it is not blue, you call it a fancy sapphire, apart from if it's red. If it's red, you call it a ruby. <laughs> If it's an emerald, it's an emerald. It's a completely different thing. <laughs> there we are. Now I've confused everybody. But you are getting fancy sapphires on here. So yellows, pinks. Gorgeous, gorgeous hues in between those. And of course, you're getting the blues in there as well. I love the fact you've actually got a large quantity of pink sapphire on here. Very feminine gemstone. Very beautiful gemstone. Can I just... Double check, has there been any treatment to this? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was there... like a stereo mm hmm then. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is no treatment to this, which means 
When you're looking at these pink sapphires, there is no fissure filling to them whatsoever. Quite often when you see pink sapphires, they're fissure filled. I've got a pink sapphire ring, it's fissure filled. I don't mind that. I love my pink sapphire ring, it's beautiful. But if you catch it in the light at just the right angle, you'll see the cracks. Mm -hmm. So basically fissure filling is when the cracks have been filled in with a resin, which is of a similar optical um, quality. There is none of that on this. Get yourself an authenticity card. It is so, 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 so worth doing. The fact you've got gorgeous, beautiful, pretty pinks, stunning yellows, incredible blues, amazing emeralds in there as well. It's a very sweet strand, isn't it? It is all tempting treat today. Mm -hmm. So we have gone for a tutti frutti feel. Very much a tutti frutti feel on this actually. Tutti frutti. Too delicious. <laughs> Fruit delicious. <laughs> the, the vivid nature of every single one of these as well, it's really lovely to see. Quite often when we bring you um, the ruby emeralds and sapphire strands, they're not quite as bright as it. They're still beautiful, mm. but they're, they're more um, quieter tones. Mm. These are loud. These stand up, these shout, these are absolutely incredible. There is an elegance and a beauty to these, but there's also a fun element as well. They're not shy. And look at the, the tassels as well. I think the tassels are, are kind of reminiscent of the strand because they give you that little flavour of all of those different directions. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I know not everyone likes the, the tassels, but I do. I think they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love that colourway. I would be very tempted to keep it as is. I would too, actually. There's a, a lot of time and effort goes into the, the, the graduating through the sizes and the colours, and I just think it's really effective. If you're looking at it, the, it has actually had a lot of time taken over it because the ends are blues and yellows mm -hmm. on both sides, moving through then to the pinks coming in, then the greens coming in. It's a really beautiful, beautiful design. We're going to do something naughty on this one. It is our tempting treats day, so we're going to give you a tempting treat on the big three. Tutti Frutti Strand for a Tutti Frutti Lilo price. Three of your big five as a taster in one go. Yes, please. Yes, please. Less than £15 for your strand. That is amazing. Pop this with the um, emerald strand from earlier on. That would be fabulous. That really would be fantastic. Less than £20 and you can have the emerald strand from earlier on and these as well. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, love it. Uh, which ones we got next? Ah. These are going to look beautiful with the deal of the day. That's just glowing. The strands are gorgeous. They are fabulous pearls, aren't they? Now I'm going to move on from this star by and bring you the deal of the day because I think they are gorgeous and I think you need to see them. If you missed out on this earlier on, I can't believe we've still got some left over actually. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. We did get a large quantity though, so we did make sure there was going to be plenty to go around. So we are looking at two strands of pearls. Look at the size of these. And there again, the, the, like the macaron styling, mm. so you could back to back them if you wanted to. Absolutely beautiful. Seven by four and nine by six. Well, these are the nine by six, aren't they? The seven by four are these ones. You are getting two strands. They are the perfect combination. So they've all got that wonderful button effect. Now, there's a gorgeous necklace here that I'm going to show you. I think you're going to love it. Oh, that's tweet. That's really pretty, isn't it? It's lovely. And it shows you the, uh, the luminescence of these pearls beautifully. And at the back, it's tapered down to the smaller size pearls. Which is as much for design as it is for comfort. Yes, because what, what you'll find when you're alternating like so, you will have fewer of the larger ones on two strands of the same size, obviously, yes. because yeah. they're larger. But 
having that uh, sort of smaller at the rear is really much more comfortable anyway. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The two strands went for £27.95. We have the remaining few available for you. So if you did miss out earlier on, or if you didn't check your basket out earlier on, make sure you're checking that basket out now. Also got an example of what you could do bracelet-wise. Oh, I love those. Ooh. I do love this. I do love this. Of course, you've got a little bit of fly charm there. Just an example. Now, Sylvia said, I bought these macaroon pearls. They sell very fast in bracelets. They do? Do they? Mm. Mm. They are a really lovely effect. There we are. Examples of bracelets. Now, believe it or not, it is that time where I need to announce the competition winner. So, <laughs> how many sweets were there in the vase? 111 sweets were placed in that vase. Now, two people thought three. Two. Oh, okay, sorry, I said three. I do apologise about that. Two people got that answer correct. So, who out of the two will be the grand winner? of this gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Do you want me to bring that over here for you? Yes, please. Because it's slightly, yeah. Uh, there we go. Let's pop that there for you. There we are. This is what you will be winning. And the winner is... Say that again. Taryn! From West Yorkshire, congratulations, you got the answer correct. 111 sweets were in the jar and you are now the proud owner of this gorgeous, one-of-a-kind masterpiece by the gorgeous <laughs> gem. It will be winging its way to you. So thank you very much for taking part. I love competitions <laughs> like that. I do, I do, I do. Now, is there enough time to squeeze another one in? <gasps> Ooh, two minutes. We're going to attempt it. Congratulations, Levy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right, we have two minutes to get this in. Say so thank you very much to you. So I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me today, That's my lovely. Thank you again. We're going to finish with one of your all-time favourite top five gemstones. Top five. Top five. We are looking at, of course, amethyst. Amethyst. This toss baby, bicolored amethyst nuggets, seven by five to nine by seven millimeters. It's a 38 centimeter strand. It's a feisty one at that. It is a feisty one. A very, very feisty one. Price wise, four pounds 95. We have to go out with a bang, don't we? Taryn's messaged in. Oh wow, thank you so much. Love your designs, Gem. There you go. You guessed right. You did. And, and she was trying to throw them all over the floor and it now means Ben can actually eat some of them. So Ben, you're welcome to help yourself to the sweets now. He's there straight away. Gorgeous lady, thank you very much for joining me. When are you back again? Back in on February the 20th on The Late Show. Fabulous. So, he's got the whole jar. <laughs> it's taken the whole job. <laughs> ben, when I said you can help yourself, I didn't mean to everything. <laughs> Funny. Well, clearly, we're not going to get any. Um, so do you have any workshops coming up? I haven't. Ooh, I think I've got a few that I can put down that I'd like you to do. All right, Treacle. There we are. Oh. Do you take... Guess how many sweets there are in the jar. It's not right, is it? That's not right, it's not fair. Thank you very much for joining us today. It has been an amazing treat to be here with you. Do not forget, there is going to be the early morning deal coming up. And of course, watch out for the Wall of Fame for those amazing little treats that you've done for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Love to every single one of you. Thank you for joining us. It has been an amazing pleasure. Good night, or good morning. <laughs>
Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one stop shop for all your jury making needs. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30 day money back guarantee. The jewellery maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call.